Hey yo, it's really hey, goody good, good in the hoodie hood. hood. It's, it's your hood. junk it's neighborhood schizophrenic. schizophrenic. And we rocking with the great American hip hop debate podcast. Right? Get acquainted. Dirty Jerry Salute. 2023, the GOAT year. Cheer, cheer. Hit me, brother F. Vibe out with me, Jersey, New York. We got ski rap in the building. Yes, sir. God blessed us another year, 2023. Factoria. Season five of the Godcast. Vibe out, vibe out. Let's go. David Bars, Corey Guns, new album in stores. This is called Next Season. 23. They never thought I'd be here to take it this far. Foot on the gas, like I don't have no brakes on my car. BX. Trying to borrow my staff for getting big BX, season. big on BX. Next season right now. I've been nice since I started. Fully automatic clip. I never miss my target. The aim's accurate. So the legends is backing it. I'm running this, and none of this shit happened on accident. Really living what I rap. Homie, I ain't just rapping it. I'm 100 like them hundreds niggas be stacking with blue faces, new faces. Ain't no clothes inside them suitcases. Same niggas with me from the jump. A couple new faces. Been about it, bro. Behind the wall, he fighting two cases. When he come home, we taking trips to see God some cares. New it's more to life than just trapping and things. And we ain't even see the half of them things. Plaques on the wall, I'm gone platinum with things. I'm not a rapper that sings. I'm Mike Jordan back to back with them rings. And now I'm like mm. a thing. I master these things. Masters of ceremonies, the master who mastered it. Now it's hard for them to ignore me. I just bore me. That's another story. Ain't got nothing for me. Hollow tips in the chamber. I deal with guns like I'm Corey. Empty the cartridge right where your heart is. And Woo! if I miss your chest, it hit your head. Then when regardless, I'm bringing bars back. Fire. the wall and made me work better. Rappers like crack and they coming to me because my work better. I'm from the Bronx where it's birthed at. The same place where yeah. my boss got a purse snatched and still kept ahead of staying your lane. Shout out, Mom Duke. And, and if you fall down, you shout out, my ex. Shout out to X. Big BX. Shout out David Barnes. Shout out Corey Guns. Welcome world. Welcome world. I am the brother Burns to the right of me on the new look season five. I got the brother BS. BS to the OP. You know what it be. Same fucking different spot. Same fucking podcast. Greatest podcast in the world. Let's go. That's right. I had to pause. Stick them in the corner. Nobody sticks baby in the corner. Never forget that. <laughs> On the check-in, I got the brother Bloodshot. Yo, that boogie down energy got a brother feeling great. Was goody, my niggas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me get the name of that project real quick. Pardon yeah, yeah. Me, y'all. Hell Everybody yeah. That make shit sure felt go good. Check out that. Uh, Guns Bars, Guns Bars, Corey Guns and David Bars. The name of the project is Guns X Bars. Nice. X like the BX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all go check it out. But also go check out a project that's called Diversity. Ooh. It's by the brother Ski Rap. And we got the brother in the building today. Welcome, Ski Rap. Yo, what up, Ski So, aka Eddie Nash. What's up, my people? Rap, 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 rap. For being here today. Brother got a comic out right now. It's called Belly Flop. Y'all check that out. Y'all make Yo, sure y'all fuck. follow him at SK33Rap on IG and at Stu Rap on YouTube. Get your comic book straight from the brother himself, or you could get it from Be Free to Create underscore also on IG. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. It's dope. You can also check out the video Belly yeah. Flop on YouTube. Follow the brother Ski Rap on YouTube, and you can see the the comic book like turned it into like a movie. Big video. facts. Shout out, to, shout out to Good Looks Media, oh, my yeah. brother Best Kept for that for that magic. That yes, shit came fire, shout out man. to the brother F and Stray Fuego Studios as always. We're also gonna so shout real. out Good Looks Media. We're also gonna shout out Team Hami. Shout out to my brother Fax Medina. Oh, Fax Medina, yeah. baby. Fax, what up? What up, Twin? Uh, Big Fax. That's my boy. Uh, um, we're gonna get into a lot of things of- today. We're gonna get into uh, <clears throat> comic books, comic book culture, the comic book slash hip hop connection. We're gonna talk Batman. Big I facts. got a very specific question. I need the brother Schizo to answer. Gotcha. We're also gonna talk all the music you dropped in 2022. What you got coming in 2023? You dropped some joints in 2020, and then there was a two year break. I want to know what happened there. Gotcha. And uh-huh. we're gonna talk about the page getting hacked, bringing that back. That's why. We're gonna talk battle rap. We're gonna talk. Um, what was, what was the scheme? Shinobi versus... Uh, Shinobi versus Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow. Versus Storm Shadow. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, make sure y'all check that out on YouTube. Yeah, We're going to get into all that. So let me just ask you this question to get it off uh, uh, like to get it off my chest. We spoke about this previously on the podcast. We were having a debate on Batman versus Iron Man. So I want to ask you, what makes Batman so cool? 
The best thing about Batman, and the reason I love Batman personally, is because his superpower is pain. And I can relate oh, to that. Mm. I could relate to... I never thought of that. Yeah. I could re- You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could relate to having your heart torn to pieces and coming back stronger yeah. and better yeah. because you're not going to let it destroy you. You're going to make it... It's your fuel. It's, it's going to uplift yeah. you. It's going it's gonna to put them wings on your back that you need. You say that in the Batman track, too. What, the wings I've on the never, back? No, no, I've no. never that, thought that, of that, that like that. That, that, that. That's what fuels you and shit, watching your parents die. What, what, uh, would you yeah, exactly. say Batman is your favorite of Absolutely. the comic books? 100 percent I have probably about five thousand comic books. I would say like Wow, five thousand. Yeah, I got a lot. Wow, that's that's yeah. a real collection. Yeah, before I found Works. before I found drugs and pussy, I was all about uh, <laughs> I was all about fucking comic books. Shout out to drugs and pussy. <laughs> By the way, Bugs. that's a different con- uh, collection right there. That's, that's a different <laughs> But shout out to drugs and pussy. Hell yeah. Before, be- before you became a sucio, you know, you <laughs> basically, had basically, pretty much. Before <laughs> drugs and pussy, what came first, comics or hip hop? Hip hop. Okay. Okay. Hip hop. Hip hop came in nineteen. Shit, I'm an OG. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, 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 I'm not even trying to release my age, but <laughs> fuck it, nigga. You I'm, I'm 43, nigga. All right, we you know we on saying? the same boat. Yeah, and everybody. Hey, in 1986. I was obsessed with horror movies, specifically Freddy Krueger. Yeah. So I one day heard on a Kiss FM with my mama, Nightmare on My Street by Will Smith by the Fresh Prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember when that. I heard that was a dope song. And it had the little melody in it from the movie. Yo, yeah, Jazzy yeah, Jeff yeah, killed yeah, that yeah, production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Will, uh, Fresh Prince rap that shit dope. But you know? see what yeah. I'm saying? That That's the birth. Of ski rap, that's the birth of belly flop, things like right, that. Yeah. Conceptual hip hop, right, where right. like you don't see the movie, yeah. but you feel the movie. You know what Shit he's talking make about. Make your yeah. hair stand, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. That we uh, kind of go ahead, blood. You know what I'm saying? They, Re- they, they don't repeat that. You cut out. Say what? Repeat what you said. You cut out. Oh, okay. We kind of missing that from rap now. They don't really do that. Too Yo, much that's a fan. Yeah, they don't even really do story songs. See, and, oh, bro, and that's what I was gonna tell you about the Batman track. Like, you made it a story. Thank you. Like, that's dope. And I'm a big fan of story, like, and conceptual rap. Mm-hmm. And you, you broke that down to a T. You got that off. Imagine. You got that off. Imagine if children's story had a comic. Mm. Yeah, that'd be dope as fuck. That'd be dope as fuck. But they gotta come through us because we trademark this. Oh yeah, yeah, slick. Holla at me <laughs> if you want a children's story comic book. Word. Right? Word up. When did that idea come to you for Belly Flop to to make? Hey, did uh, it come to me? Um, my brother Poet Substratum, aka uh, you can follow him on Instagram is B Free to Create Number Two mm-hmm. Create Underscore Underscore. It's be free to create underscore, but it's be free number two, create underscore. Not number two, but the number two. Mm-hmm. And um, that brother, he's always been such a prolific figure in my life as far as MCing goes. Like, shout out to Next Philosophy Division. That's my Patterson chapter. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, all day. And he 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 part of that chapter. You know what I'm saying? So he came to me one day. He was like, Skit, so I got this beat for you. I want one of them classic schizo stories because I've always been known to do these wild ass stories. Like just, you know, they they wasn't all fiction in the past, but this was just, Belly Flop was a straight fictional story. And I don't know the statute of limitations, so fuck you. But anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he came to me, I swear to God, maybe like four years ago, maybe five. And the nigga okay. was like, I just want one of them schizo, crazy, wild stories. So I was like, I bet. So um, I sat with the beat for like a month and then I just kept building it in my head. And then eventually it was like, all right, I'm going to explode if I, don't, if I don't jot it down. So I created a whole, cause I, cause I'm, can you know what I'm saying? I used to live in Brooklyn, I used to live in Kanashi right. with my uncle, you feel me? Um, Shout out to Uncle Jay, what's oh, up yeah. nigga? And um, yeah, nah, I used to live out there with him and like, he used to live in Sheep's Head Bay before he lived in Kanashi. You know what I'm saying? Hold on real quick. Yo, Jux Hami in the building. Team Hami, what's up, nigga? Yo, what up, bro? 
Nigga, I'm about to send you the Addy. Pull up. I'm in Union City. You heard? No, I got, I'm, I'm with the baby right now and shit. All right. Well, you on the podcast, too. So I'll see <laughs> yes, you later. Sir. I love you. <laughs> Shout out to you, Mom. Wow. Yeah. Shout out to you, Peace, twin. <laughs> so, boom. My fault, yeah. So, um, I was like, uh, like, yo, okay, boom. So I gave him... Just a crazy, because I remember how them Russian niggas used to move in Sheep's Head Bay. Like, them niggas was so gangster, like them Ocean Parkway ass niggas. Them niggas was so gangster. And I used to be like, yo, imagine you had beef with one of these niggas, how they would do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they would do you dirty if you really like, because I know beef with Spanish niggas, black niggas, white yeah, boys, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But dumb niggas is different. Russians is different. What? Yeah, <laughs> Nigga, they skin you a lot. They like beefing with Mexicans, bro. Yeah, they'll cut your head off and play soccer careful. with it. They like beefing with Puerto Ricans, God damn it. Hey. Yeah. Anyway, so boom. <laughs> so boom. So yeah, man, motherfucking um. So I just drew up some old crazy wild story and the nigga poet was like, um, yo, son, we need to motherfucking put this shit in a video. I'm like, nigga, we never going to be able to afford that budget. Like I'm shooting niggas and mm -hmm. niggas is crashing taxi cabs and all type of shit. Like yeah, this is going to yeah. be expensive. Mm -hmm. I can't. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, you right. So he's sitting with the shit. The nigga hit me one day. He's like, yo, we going to put it on the comic book. Perfect. I'm mm -hmm. like, bullshit. He's like, I got the motherfucking artist. Shout out to Crank Fastro. Oh, yeah! Crank Fastro at Instagram.com, whatever the fuck it is. I'm an OG. I don't know about that <laughs> shit. Crank Fastro. It's like Frank Castro, who's the Punisher, word, yeah. but it's Crank Ooh. Fastro. He drew the fucking everything. He drew everything in this bitch. That's we dope. would give the nigga the, 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 the lyrics, the scenario, and like a rough draft of what we wanted. And yeah. that motherfucker blessed it. Now there's another comic book. My brother Lifelong has a comic book. Shout out to Lifelong. Okay. Love you, Trent. Uh, time, what's it called? Uh, fight Against Time. Fight, fight Against, against okay. Time, yeah. And it's amazing, so what we fight, do- Fight With Time. Fight, fight With Time, you yeah. know the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the time, one? Yeah. So boom, so what we gonna do is, my next comic, which is coming out real soon, Poet just gave me the beat, cause Poet okay. produced this beat. Um, I'm going to, cause the last thing I do is punch these niggas in the mouth when mm -hmm. I'm all fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I gotta keep it moving. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna give y'all too much, but I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna shave my head, cause, cause I shaved my hair <laughs> in real life. Yeah, no, and I did in real life. I had what I had. I used to have long braids and all mm -hmm. that. Then I, I dreaded it. And you gotta do this all day, every mm -hmm. day. I'm not doing this all day, yeah, every day. Yeah, like yeah. with 50 fucking dreads, like yeah. fuck you. So they went to shit in like a couple weeks. Yeah. I saved all my shit, nigga. So this nigga gotta shave his hair. Cause when I'm doing this store signings, the mm -hmm. nigga supposed to look like me. Right. He gotta shave his goddamn hair. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna run in the subway and stumble onto some gears that were left over from Lifelong's comic. And then uh, we're gonna do a crossover. Okay. Oh, and that's I, dope. And I still have hella uh, heroes and villains that I have. That gets to the yeah. screenplay. Uh -huh. I have hella heroes. I have hella vi uh, villains. I'm really trying to create a Marvel universe or DC universe. I'm not fucking never counting DC out because right. them niggas was there first. Right. And that's a problem with our culture. We don't pay homage to the OGs properly. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Well, Everybody like, fuck DC. Marvel's the move. No, nigga. DC was there first. They were. That's why it's Gotham City, not New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. They had Where? to be creative. What so, about Time Slate? You gonna come out with a video for Time Slate? Time Slate? Time Just Slate. the other lifelong yeah, joint? Yeah, 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 yeah. Twin know his shit, son. Nah, yeah, because that yeah. shit was dope as fuck. I was waiting for I was looking for it. I was like, where is it? I where wish it? Poet was here. Damn it, he be giving all y'all niggas fucking free shit. We gonna come back. We gonna come back. <laughs> no yeah, Tom Slate, um, that's the thing. You know the enemy in Tom Slate, the nigga that looked like Skeletor? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's who I'ma encounter this time. Me and me and time is gonna have some shit. That's why I'm having a minute writing it, cause Lifelong is more of a cosmic MC. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Skizzle's more like Punisher, fucking straight to <laughs> yeah. the straight to the point. He's more direct. Yeah, he's more direct. But I'm trying to get into the cosmic shit. <laughs> yeah, no, cause I could do that. I could do that. But yeah. Limitless yeah. like arithmetic, charismatic ignorance, mad combative penmanship, aromatic blendiness, pleasures on mine, don't mention it. Sentencing our censorship, penance when I'm penning scripts, educate the etiquette. Edu you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it ain't all just like shoot a nigga in the face rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, cause I could do that. Oh, yeah. That's easy. That's easy. That's tapping in the old reflexes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But 
if you could like look at the God staring at me with a look on his face like he proud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ray, Rock him looking at yeah, me like right. he proud, like he happy, <laughs> like yeah, young nigga, go ahead, get that shit. Word. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway. So that's the comic. But I'm surprised that it was the brother poet that gave you that idea. You never thought of of making a comic as a big comic book fan? Yeah. Bro, that's what made but he's also in the comics. Oh. So that's what made it so beautiful. So then he like boom. I got the nigga to do it. Shout out to Dummy Comics. Oh, yeah. You heard? Dummy Comics is an independent comic book label run by my brother Kehlani. That's his independent they comic. They do the, the printing, the publishing? The publishing and all that. I don't know who does what, but I know we <laughs> representing Dummy Comics. You know what I'm and saying? And they're in Jersey? Yeah. Shout out it's to that. Shout out to Dirty wow. Jersey, baby. Big, big Jersey, big Jersey. Snow the shit. Big but Jersey But I feel vibes. like you, you almost downplaying it. When Poet told you, yo, we're going to make a comic. At first, I was like, how? Nigga, I didn't know nothing about that. But then when he started like sending me like uh, pictures of the of, of what uh, Frank Cra Crank Fast Show was drawing, yeah. I was like, this is really going to happen. Then you started getting like, what? <laughs> I was crazy. Hell <laughs> yeah. Because doing... I see the shirt too now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That shirt is dope as fuck, by book, the way. And it's like, Shout out to my homegirl, Tina. You can't she have 5,000 comic books of Batman and somebody yeah. tell you, yo, I'm going to make a comic book of you and you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be doing black flips and fucking car yeah. wheels and shit, especially when you've seen it. <laughs> Could you imagine Hell when yeah. I seen it? How yeah. I how many felt? of these do you have like all over the place? Yeah, I got stickers everywhere. But like stash too, because I know you gotta no, have no, no, some. No. Like that, I would have brought more. I'm, I sold out. We did a we did an in store signing at um um shout out to A and S Comics oh, nice. on Cedar Lane and yeah. Tina's yeah. yeah. in store I know signing. Exactly what you're talking about. That spot is the shit. That is a, that is I love them spot. dudes, yeah. man. They yeah, good people. That's old school. Yeah. 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 Was it A and S on Bergenland originally? There was one on Bergenland too. No shit. Yeah. Word? Damn. Yeah. I swear. I right swear. There, yeah, no, I remember in, A&S. In, in, in North Bergen, right there by, uh, between. By like the quick check up on. on exactly, uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. Like 70, 73rd, something like that. 70th and 72nd. I wonder like if that. it's the same dudes. Probably. Because they they're not there no more. They moved. There's a liquor store there now. That's cool. They probably That's moved to Teenage cool. and shit. I remember there used to be Comic Heaven and Tina. I think no, 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 Comic Heaven with some other niggas. I mean, not even gonna give them no shots out. Shout out to A and S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. word up, word, word up. up. And what's what's the publisher? Dummy. Dummy Comics. Shout out to Dummy, Dummy Comics. Comics. Shout that out shit to is fire. That yeah. shit is so fire. Yeah, yeah, no, that's definitely dope. Thank you, thank you. Let's go back to the beginning of the reps. Um, you said hip hop came before comic books, mm -hmm. or no, or comics came before. Nah, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop first. first. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you was into horror movies. You said yeah, in the eighties. Yeah. That motherfucking nightmare on my street, son. Yeah. As as like a six year old boy hearing mm -hmm. that shit and like envisioning it. <clears throat> it wasn't a movie because a movie's easy. It give you the picture. Yeah, this shit made challenge your mental. Yeah, 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 you gotta picture it. You gotta frame it yourself. But you know when I fell in love, I mean, I always loved hip hop. I used to steal tapes from Record City and all that shit, Record Town, <laughs> whatever the fuck it was called. <laughs> but uh, nah, what it was was when when I got when I was young and I got sent up. You know what I'm saying? I was like 13, I had to go do a little little stint, you know what I mean? That's when I fell in love with it because it helped me cope. It was therapeutic. To listen or to create? To create. Okay. I could take all my problems, all my feelings. Was that when you started writing? Yeah, 13 years old. I take all my what? hurt, all my pain, all my fuck ups, all my regrets and I put them down and I just rhyme the last word and it would help me. And then as I got older and I started constructing the craft, I started rhyming the last two words. I was going to say, it's like... And the last I, three words. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Then I tried to start rhyming every word. All the syllables and shit. It's a crossword puzzle. Yeah. And it, 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 a, a blank piece of paper is, is, is... This piece of paper right here could make you $100 million. Yeah, you could write a screenplay. This is... This is yeah. Endle Infinite. Endless possibilities. It's like printing your own money, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you start rapping at thirteen. You're yeah. doing, you know, you you're on you're on tour or you're away at college, as they mm -mm. like to call it. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you come home, and yeah. you bring your raps with you. Start spitting for niggas in the hood. And niggas, uh, uh, other brothers were spitting also. Nah, just you. Yeah. But your raps were were like ex ex exceptional. No, uh, of course exceptional for for a beginner. Exceptional. And, but you, did, and you were how old already at this point? 
13, 14. That's 14. when they started calling me schizo because I went to a psych hospital. Okay. So when I, oh. did, I did, I did uh, 90 days in a psych. Okay. So that's three months. All right, all right. So you're still like 13, 14. All right. Yeah. So when I, and I missed the whole summer vacation. So when I came home, niggas was like, yo, where the fuck you was at? I'm like, yo, I was in the fucking psych ward, nigga. They're like, this nigga's schizo, bro. And, that's, and they named them. This is it. 90s culture. Yeah. You have a mental, <laughs> not to say you have a men- mental illness, but. No, I do. Fuck it. Let's, Let's keep it real. All right. Who, if you who, does, who, does it? who does it? Who does it? Who does it? No saying? That shit yeah. earns you a nickname. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> but that's how it's it was, though. Up. That's how it was. And it sticks forever. <laughs> Yo, but for real, bro. When, I remember when, you remember Steve, the big Colombian dude we used to hang out with, yeah, Crazy yeah, Steve? Yeah. When I used to go play ball with him, all his boys would call me Leche because I was white as fuck. Yeah, yeah. You know they would, they, <laughs> yo, we would take like your insecurities or your yeah, imperfections yeah, yeah, yeah. and that would be your character. That yeah. Spanish nigga shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. Bro. Flaco. Yeah. Flaco. <laughs> Gordo. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's a bendy. That's crazy. So you were, you were into rap. <laughs> when did you get into the comics then? If you was... If I was if, always in the, you know what it was? My mother had took me to, my mother and my stepfather, but fuck that, my father. That nigga. That's shout, out father. That. Yeah. shout out to that. Shout out to that. He, um, uh, they took me to a, uh, like a Comic Con, like in like 85, 84. A convention. Like 85, yes, a convention. And I remember I bought a Batman comic where cool. he was fucking niggas up. It looked like zombies. He was in a um, he was in a graveyard fucking niggas up on the front cover. Nice. And I'm like, what? I'm like, zombies and Batman. Yeah, I'm taking this one, yeah. and I got like a handful of them. I still got them. They're nice. worth they're worth a lot of money. Yeah. And um, I uh, I, I just when I went home and I was like, because like reading a book it was cool. Cause I used to read a lot. I ain't gonna front. I used to read a lot of choose your own adventure books and all that shit. Like, I was always about creativity. Cause my mind's movie was always better than the movie I saw on TV. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. my brain. Well, well, the, it's it's the reading challenges you to work your brain at the same time. I think yeah. that's what's lacking from a lot of uh, today's yeah. youth is that they're ent- uh, not. You know, we didn't have that much shit to entertain us. Yeah. We didn't have Netflix and phones we, and tablets we, and we literally Roblox had to use our brains. Yeah, yeah need it. So comic books and books was yeah. like a big thing Bro, to just us. Just going outside, riding your bike with no headphones on and listening to the leaves mm-hmm. rustling, just hearing summertime was yeah. like. Mm-hmm. I, I, I yearn for that today, for that same feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What you were doing with comic books, other people would do with records. Yeah, other people would do with video games. You know what I'm saying? And that whole I riding the that. bike that was part of the part of the mission. Like, yo, you gotta yeah. get up, you gotta get your bike to go to the comic book store. Yeah, pick up your fucking. Yeah, and if it's raining, know, we inside playing video yeah, games. Yeah, hell yeah. Exactly. Fired up. Damn, I, no, keep it real. I miss that shit too, yo. Me too, yeah. bro. I miss that. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. I, 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 I've tried to recreate it so many times with so many different variables. Yeah. It's just, yeah, nah, it just can't, it be, can't recreated. be recreated. You want to know, son? I just seen a video on Twitter that they were talking about our generation and how we um, buy a lot of stuff that we loved as children. Like uh, memorabilia, like memorabilia. I do that, nostalgia. but but do it's nostalgia. not for the nostalgia. It's for the according to them, their so theory. Like a dopamine hit. What? It's it's like that. Yeah, like you're searching for a a time of happiness where you yeah. weren't stressed okay. out and yeah. the world had yet to yeah. fucking to fuck you with out. you. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Where this was all you had, and that shit used to make you mad happy. That's why yeah. all I watch is angry video game nerd on YouTube. Shout out to James. Uh, I know exactly yeah, who you're talking about. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, I watch them. I watch them. Yeah. I watch them all the time yeah. because, like, bro, I be going to sleep to that nigga, bro. Because, like, it's right. It's like when I hear Metroid in the background, yeah. it's like mm-hmm. I can sleep peacefully because it's like no stress. Yeah, it's that yeah. feeling of of innocence. Yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I thought that yeah. was dope, and I think it's we yo that that market is like a nine billion dollar a year market. Like the nostalgia market? Like, the yeah. retro market. Like, yeah. Niggas buying shit. Yeah. I just bought some fucking WWF LJNs. Like 20 uh, of them with the ring and everything. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Swear to God, bro. Dope, dope. Swear to God. Shout out That's to Facebook dope. Marketplace. Yeah. You know, you know what I want to start buying? Because my son is into it now. I got him into it, and now he's super into it. He's He loves Knight Rider. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, Yo, he's no like, shit. Yeah, yeah, he loves you. You talking about Kit? Yeah, yeah, Kit, Michael, Michael Knight, Knight, and all that shit. Yeah. Like, he, so, like, That's I got him into fire. it. I got him into it. He loves it. So now, recently, within the last two weeks since Christmas, he's been like, Daddy, I want to watch Night Rider. 
So, awesome. so I have to That's put it on that. YouTube because it used to be on Netflix, not on Netflix. Oh, they took it off. So. They took it off. Uh, fuck boo is. Netflix. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't doing the numbers. It should have yeah, done. So, yeah. so I watch it because the niggas ain't like you, nigga. They ain't gonna put yeah. their son on the game. So now he's back like on. That. He's back on his Night Rider shit. That's awesome. Yeah, he he's got and I got him. I got him Night Rider. Like I got him a diecast Night Rider. That when you open the doors, the scanner works and wow. shit. He oh, loves that shit. Do it. He loves that shit. Nah, I don't talk. Then I got him the, the remember the bad guy car? Yeah. Car, the yeah, bad yeah, yeah. K A R R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got him that one. So now he's got both of them and shit. Uh, he yeah. was like, How yo, old is he? He's seven. God bless him. Yo, he, he loves all that shit, yo. <laughs> I wanna get him, I got him into Transformers, but I used to have my daughters in the gym. Gem, Gem, Gem is exciting. Gem in the holograms. Yeah. Yo, shout out, to, like uh, shout out to Veronica, AK Blondie, who helped yeah. us with the Billboard launch. She's super into Gem. That's what's up. Good dad, yeah. gang, yeah. fathers leading families. Absolutely Hashtag so. fathers yeah. leading families. Hashtag good dad, gang. Yeah. If you ain't raising right. your seeds, nigga, it ain't nothing gangster about you. Big no. fact. Word is bomb. Absolutely. The thoroughest niggas I know. Will kill for their family. Put in work. Fuck mm -hmm. killing for oh, a kilo, yeah. nigga. Kill yeah. for your children. Good facts. Good shit. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out to all the kids. Shout out to all the breath babies out there. Big facts. Let's get to the um. You start rapping. When did you start battle rapping? I started battle rapping from fucking let's say maybe. 16, 17, because I used to go to um the wetlands knitting factory. I would hop on the bus and hack and sack and go to the city and go to Knitting Factory and battle. And back then, because I had like, by, by that time, I would have like probably like 50 rhymes memorized. I always had like a photographic memory when it comes to anything that I like. Right. Of if I don't like it, but <coughs> my raps, I've, I've become, you know, I, I'm memorized. I used to walk with a wad of fucking paper in my back pocket and just pull them out and just read them all the time when I had nothing to do. Instead of doing this dumb shit, I was perfecting my craft, seeing where I fucked up and how I could have fixed it and making it work. Right. And um, so that was so I used to go to Wetlands, Knitting Factory, um, New Eurekans, wow. all that, and um, I would battle like 30 MCs freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like you were supposed to. Right. And the crazy shit is when I went okay, <coughs> all right. So I'm in. A, I'm doing a show in uh, Newark at the Armory. Shout out to the Armory Tavern. If you was there, you know. If you wasn't there, you don't know. Rest in peace, Big Snuff. Rest in peace, Dutch Master, nigga. YouTube the Armory Tavern. The Armory Tavern, Newark, New Jersey. YouTube it and just watch jersey at its finest at its purest yeah and what year was it yeah. like 90 well the you armory, said you were what 16 17 yeah so the like armory 96, was later 97? the armory was later but knitting factory and all that so we would go in the room and it'd be like a 500 hundred dollar prize mm -hmm. and it'd be 30 mcs i'll be one of them mcs but everybody freestyled there was no written you had to talk about what the nigga wearing yeah. his shoes right. his shape up fucked up you had to talk about whatever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm in I'm in Newark, I'm at the Armory. This is probably 2006. Because mm. prior to that, we were signed to Columbia Records. We had a group called Concentration Camp, C Camp. Uh, me, Sabotage, shout out Sabotage, shout out Punches Pilot, shout out Native, shout out uh, Buddha, shout out uh, Exit Subliminal. So we had a group and we got signed to Columbia Records because I formed the group. I used to spend my little my little hustle money and, and go to the studio and make a little demo. And then when my nigga Buddha came home, he did 25 for a body at 18. So Damn. He, yeah, so when he came home, like he was like when Ja Rule went to jail, Buddha was the nigga that was like his security. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like maybe not ja, I don't know. But I just know that any time a rap nigga went to jail, if they went to Jersey, Buddha was their security. So when he came home, niggas owed him a lot of favors. Right, right. And we was he killing had a lot in, of connections. We was killing it in the street with the little Sea Camp demo. Mm -hmm. So we had gotten signed to um Columbia. Then, I mean, we was hustling for the nigga, whatever, whatever. The house got raided. They locked my nigga back up. Then Columbia stopped picking up the phones. So mm -hmm. we went over there flipping tables like on some, on some ice cube shit. Mm -hmm. And then we got we got we got a breach of contract and all the other shit. But that's ancient history. Yeah. So after that, you know what I'm saying, um, I started hitting the. I start. Well, I already did the battle scene because that's how I perfected my craft. 
I ain't gonna lie, I never, I never came in first place and won the five hundred dollar oh. shit. But I would leave, I would leave with like fifty bucks in a t shirt. I'll yeah. come in like fourth, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, Third. Not bad. Right. Yeah, it was, yeah, if it's fifty motherfuckers, three, four, that's that's a top percentage a lot, right there. Bro, yeah. you battle at least 10, 15 niggas in a mm-hmm. night, bro. You get burnt out eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what? boom. So um, you know who would win? The nigga that stayed sober all night. That'd be yeah. the nigga that won. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was the pussy strategy. nigga that stayed. You fucking nerd. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't say that. You know what I mean, though. I don't, yeah. I don't mean like, you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we know what you mean. Yeah, a different time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault, my fault. Nah, Pardon me. Worry. I had to bleep that. Blood, <laughs> get the timestamp. Say love. My fault. But I want, I want to just state something real quick yeah. for those, for the viewers and for the listeners that may not, like, understand. At this time, when you're in a room with 50 MCs and yeah. you're battling for $500, this is pre-social media. This yeah. is pre-camera. Facts. This is pre uh, notepad, pre-YouTube, all that shit. Yeah. So these guys are in there freestyling. In the battle pit. In a hot-ass room, hot I bet ass you. Hot-ass room, bro. Hot than a motherfucker. Sweat probably bullets. smoked out. Smoke the smoking bullets. bogeys in there, niggas, all that niggas, shit. Niggas, nigga, you smell the dust. Nigga, it just Everything. be PCP everywhere. Oh, like, niggas was crazy yeah. with it. And just rapping. Stop. Like, niggas that jaw, was just nigga rapping. jaw all over the place off of E and Coke. <laughs> like, niggas was crazy back then. Like, shit was, just so it was like, a different time. Like right. so, so the point is that back then you had to earn the yeah, right to be even, a rapper. But even in, like, projects, even in, like, other niggas' hoods, like, I used to roll with my nigga Diego. Shout out to Diego. And, oh, yeah, we be in Patterson and shit. Diego pull up on four or five niggas and be like, Ugh. Yo, what's up? Y'all niggas rap, nigga? My man Schizo in the car, he'd murder all y'all niggas. I got $500 in he body, whoever. Niggas would go get their mans and bring them back. And I would have to bow, be like, Diego, bro, I fucking hate you, bro. Like, damn, man, I'm just trying to chill. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, boom, we bring them niggas back. And boom, we battle, my nigga. And I body these niggas. And like, so I've always been doing that. Like, even sometimes, I remember one time we was in Alphabet City, nigga. And we was about to get, you know what I'm saying? We was at a party, niggas was trying to get us. We get to the staircase, we trying to dip, niggas coming down. We already know what time it is. And like, I'm like, yo, what's good, man? What's up, nigga? You look like you rap, nigga. I bet you pussy, nigga. I bet you garbage, nigga. What's up? Know what I'm saying? Like, what's good? What's good? Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. I you jeopardize your life for the scratch and exercise the knife in your back. You step aside, I'm lightning that bat. You know what I'm saying? I just lose my shit. Back. And then we get out of there safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, feel yeah. me? The rapping yeah, yeah. got you, you out of there. That's a diversion Many right there. Many situations, <laughs> my skill got me saved my life. Yeah. yeah, because Thank I'm God. a light skinned little nigga, man. Niggas always, man. If I look young now, imagine what the fuck I looked like back then. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. niggas, niggas want to, man. Come on then. And you was from Jersey, and that's the- and you was a uh, Puerto Rican. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a uh, lot of fucking like factors. Yeah, yeah bro. Check marks again, always, it, and it was a different yo, time. Yo, it's so true. Yeah. I, yeah. I, before pun, before pun. Shout out to Big Fucking Pun, bro. Yeah. Shout out Big to Moon Dog. Before pun. You had to go extra hard because yeah. a motherfucker that wasn't nowhere near as good as you would have one punchline and mm. everybody be like, ah, and you lost. So you had to make sure everything you said was mm, 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 mm like mm-hmm. mm, mm, every one of them. Like, nah, bro, you can't deny me because I'm in the same hood as you. I'm going through the same shit you going through. But don't let the light skin fool you, my nigga. I'm a mm-hmm. fucking animal. And I'm gonna represent every time, bro. I mean, as, as you... it should be. Yeah, man. So I'm in, I'm in the armory. I'm performing and shit. My man, uh, my man, self. Shout out to self. Custodian of records. Dirty jersey. You already. Oh, but you're performing a song. Like... Yeah, I'm rocking on okay. stage. I'm doing my thing. Cause I was always, you know, what I'm saying back then, I always had something going on every fuck. We all did. We was young, you know, what I'm saying. So yeah. we had all this energy, all. All venues everywhere, it was crazy, man. Mm-hmm. So boom, so um my man um my man Lethal the Third Seven. Shout out to Lethal. Oh, yeah. Lethal the Third Seven on Instagram. That nigga, he ran when animals attacked the battle league. That's out of Montclair. Okay. Now one thing about Montclair is that you got them Huxtable motherfuckers, but you got nasty new street. Rest in peace, Fatal Hussein. Rest in peace, Yaki Gaddafi. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Like from out there. you got Jersey outlaw niggas from mm-hmm. Montclair. You feel me? So never yeah. sleep on the clear. Shout out to Nasty New, oh, man. Yeah. And shout out to, man, C4, all them niggas, man. Word. Rest in peace, Cosmos, man. Word. So boom. 
My nigga leaked through the third seven, go to my nigga Self, and he like, yo, Self, that's your man. He's like, yeah, he's like, that nigga nasty. He's like, all right, cool. He's like, yo, do you think that nigga battle? Self is like, yeah, of course the nigga battle. <laughs> he been battling. <laughs> so they give me a date, right? I go to this fucking battle in Montclair, and yo, son, when I'm there, these niggas know everything about each other. Oh, okay. They like, yo, your baby mom's is fat. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like personal shit. How the fuck? You know what I mean? I never witnessed no shit like this, and I gotta battle this nigga. And I'm like, I wonder if this motherfucker going. This nigga was like, yo, your chip teeth and all of that. But like, <laughs> so my oh. teeth, my teeth is fixed. Like you could tell it's written. Like, okay, so the three months I had to prepare for this, I didn't prepare because I've never prepared for a battle in my life. I just come in and wing it, mm. right? So I get there, this nigga know everything about me. Like, not really, like, he just know word of mouth shit, yeah. like, no bullshit. As much like, as he could know for that much time as he frame. he could muster. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it's mean? gotta be easier now. Yeah. That's why now with Google and all that bullshit. That's why this shit is corny to me, bro. It's like... Bro, niggas is too, like, all right, bust it. So I battle this nigga. We almost fight. Y'all can see the footage. That's um, Skitto Burst, Amazing, D-Boy. Shout out to D-Boy. That's my guy. New Street Warrior. Word up. Um, But at the time, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't know him from Adam or Eve. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like, fuck you. But uh, nah, that was, that was an epic battle. And that spawned the battle career. So after that, now the thing with my battle career, one thing that really hindered it was... When I would show up, my opponent wouldn't. My opponent, bro, I have like 13 impromptu battles. Impromptu means I came, my opponent didn't show. Now, nine times out of 10, when a nigga's opponent don't show, they don't battle. Right. My opponent didn't show. They'll give you somebody else. Bitch, I got kids, nigga. I don't get out the house that much. I'm here. What's good? Get me another tender, tasty morsel to murder. (laughs) It doesn't matter. Him, 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 you. Who the fuck? I don't care. Give me blood. I want blood. I want to drink somebody's fucking blood. Yeah, bro, because like life is stressful and this is how but that, but, shit. but now it's it's harder for you because now you're battling <laughs> someone that you're not prepared for. Not for that me. it's harder, but you had you had uh check the resume, man. Check the repertoire. You had prepared for this opponent. Fuck it. And now you get a new opponent. Fuck it. It was stressful, it was annoying, and yes, yeah, sometimes a motherfucker. Yeah, man, ain't nobody beat me, man. Check the motherfucking resume, man. And check how many impromptus I got. Shout out to Cannon Jones. He showed up. Cannon Jones, one of the greatest MCs of all time. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the niggas that showed up and performed. Because, like, yo, bro, it was crazy how, like, niggas would agree to battle me. And then they wouldn't show. Now, that's a major no-no. You can't do that. I know showed once, but I produced paperwork because I got locked up the night before. Mm. I produced the paperwork. Ain't none of these niggas been did nothing but be quiet as a church mouse, bro. Bro, check the resume, bro. I'm not making this shit up. Like I have, like, a, I have the most, I have the most impromptu battles in battle rap history. I have the most impromptu battles in battle rap history. If anybody wants to challenge that or check that, let me know. Cause far as I know, I got the most. Shout out to Poison Pen. Okay. Bro, Team Homie, Sway, what up? <laughs> When'd you link with Team Homie? Shit, just do my battle rap shit. You know what I'm saying? My brother Jooks really is my brother Jooks. My brother Jooks hit me up with like, uh, I don't know, the nigga just, you know what I mean? He, uh, he took a liking to the God, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I had love for him too. He was just like, oh, he's the coolest nigga alive, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, yeah, through him, you know, because we used to go to the pyramid a lot. Every fucking week, we go to the pyramid. And uh, I think that's a slept on, like, hip hop landmark. I don't so think enough people EO know Dub, about the nigga, pyramid. Shout out to yeah. EO Dub, end of the week. Like, we'd be at end of the week every week, bro. Like, that was a, a, a breeding ground of talent for that time frame. Yeah. yeah. And it fed, like, the next five years yeah. of battle leagues and. Yeah. and just hip hop and shit. Rest in peace, Pumpkinhead, man. Rest <clears throat> in peace, Jay Arch, Word. man. Rest in peace, Nam Myers. Word. Absolutely. Then, um, that was still like 2006 and shit, right? Were you releasing when music was, back then? Yeah, I had dropped a little album called No Hooks. 
video on like CDs too. and shit. I think it's, yeah, I had CDs. I think it's on Bandcamp too. Yeah, yeah. no hooks. It's, it's literally noisy it's EP. No hooks. If the song's four minutes long, I rap from the beginning to the end. There's no hooks. No wow. hooks. Yeah, it's just like, bars. That's another one. I don't that's why you fuck with CF so much. That's how he is. Just yeah. bars, bars. Shout out to the brother CF two hundred one. He just dropped a new video today, directed by Speedy Baby. Make sure y'all go check that out. Go on check that shit Shout out. Shout out to both of them brothers. That's my bleed right there. So you're still steady dropping music from yeah. 2006. The the, yeah. the group broke up right after the Capitol thing. What group? The uh, oh yeah yeah no nah, we the still we, we still blood though that's still squad yeah. But we, as far as as music, you were a solo artist doing the the music yeah. on but, your own, but then and we then got also with the, the battle council. Rap? But then we got with the council, Budo. You can check out there's some council shit out there. They got with the council. That's Brett. Brett was um Brett was on the fabulous. And uh, 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 Nate Dog song. I got hoes, I okay. got love for and okay. He was on, um, he was on the remix. Brett, he from Jersey City, okay. Beast. So he was part of the council. Um, who the fuck else? Rigor Mortis, rest in peace, Rigor Mortis, Jersey City legend, man. Rigor was part of the council. So yeah, we did some other shit. There's a council shit out there too, but um, yeah, for the most part, I was a solo artist. I just um. When I'm called upon to be part of a group, mm -hmm. I do it because, not that I owe niggas favors, but like, if you call upon me and you my brother, I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do for yeah. you. you and you a saying? rapper. Like, that's, yeah. they asking you to do what you do, you what rap. you love to do. Yeah, you yeah. rap. Rap that's is rap. awesome. When did the screenwriting come into play? Well, I've, I've been writing a autobiography. Um... Probably for about four years now, but it's it's hard to revisit certain things. Of your own life? It's called Carmichael Escobalas. I was named Carmichael, and my biological father's last name is Escobalas. So had he been in my life, it would have been, my name would have been Carmichael Escobalas. Right. So it's, um, it's, it's an autobiography. Some of it is fiction, but for the most part, it's based on my life and, uh, it's fucking coming together, but a lot of things are really hard to revisit. So just hold off on that, and it will be a movie. I promise you. It's uh, it's terrifying, <laughs> to say the least. One of the uh, scariest places to go is within oneself. Mm. Yeah, that's a fact. That's why I gotta be careful with all this weed I smoke. I fuck around and be in my head too much. Yeah, <laughs> Hurry it up. That's why I can never go to sleep to silence. Me neither. It's impossible. Oh, yeah. because no, your mind starts to go nuts. No, it's yeah. only you and your yeah, brain, yeah. and your brain That's takes over. That's what sucks about being locked up. When you, it's just silent in that bitch. You just like, yo, I cannot sleep. That's right? terrible. Yeah, oh terrible. my god, all you do is reflect and regret yes! and fucking reflect and regret. Reflect yeah, and regret. holy shit. I see in my next album. There you go. <laughs> reflect and regret regrets. like a motherfucker. For real, yo, it's got to be something. Fucking turn the fan on. Anything, anything. Yeah. Um, but the autobiography, how, what, what, uh, like, what percentage would you say of that is complete? Twenty, like twenty percent. What do you think it's gonna take for you to 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 dig within yourself and uh, talk about those things that maybe you don't want to talk about a little? I don't know. Maybe therapy. Which is maybe a lot more weed and mushrooms. I don't know. <laughs> we'll be all right. We'll figure it out when the time. The comes. mushrooms be, ever, be be opening certain portals. Yeah. That, uh, you ever thought of the toad? It's good for you. Yes. Fuck the yeah. toad. I want. I want. I want. I want to fuck with some ayahuasca. Be honest with you. I want to go. Ayahuasca. To, I want to go to Peru. Hey, that's for y'all. I want to go to oh, Peru go and I want to um be with a shaman. I want to fucking purge. I want to do the whole that nine. DMT. The ayahuasca is similar to the DMT. Yeah, it's that's uh, exactly it's what a, it is. It's, it's, no. you're, you're drinking no. it instead of smoking it. DMT is a natural. Yeah, it's different. In it's your brain, different. your body produces DMT when mm -hmm. you're born to oh. deal with the trauma of birth, and when you die to yeah. deal with the trauma of death. The thing with DMT, that's why they say heaven or hell is like it's really just a hallucination. Right. The your brain remains conscious for seven minutes after yeah. you die. The DMT yeah. activates that wow. chemical that is only produced when you're born and, like he said, when you die. Mm. That's so, the ego the, death? Yes, exactly. And the DMT, the difference between the ego DMT and, uh, and the uh, ayahuasca is the ayahuasca is a long process. Like, it lasts a while. Like you're on that shit for a few hours. Where the DMT, yeah. the DMT like is only minutes. twelve minutes. It's like yeah, like maximum yeah. twelve minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And it feels like you've been away a lifetime. 
So why does one last longer than the other? Because you drink it as opposed to smoking it? I guess. Uh, or yeah, do you possibly. continue to drink it to, to make it last? No, they're, it's only one drink and then it they're lasts. Both, they're, they're both interdimensional yeah. portals. Yeah, 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 but which know. is the one that you that you get to like... And, and it probably, I guess, applies to both where you get to sit with the shaman and it's just... That's ayahuasca. Ayahuasca, yeah. That's ayahuasca. And it's just you and him for the trip. It'd be yeah. a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah. It'd be like 10, 20 yuppie-ass motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't like that. I don't give a fuck. No, but then... He, I like, gotta do like, that. 10, could, 20, you, I wouldn't like No, no, you could do the one-on-one. With yeah, the, with I want the, the, the one-on-one. I, I, one. I know, yeah. but the 10, 20 package is probably like five grand. Yeah, the, the one on one. There's like one 20. of these yuppies. No, no, no. There's well, somebody actually, you aren't even gonna know they did. But if actually, they start bugging and getting your zone nah, somehow, no, no, no. But there's a dude. Portal? There's a dude in Kentucky. The shaman, gonna make there's sure a dude that in Kentucky happen. that does that. Like yeah. he, he, it, it's like you and ten other dudes or ten other people. I should say, not dudes, just ten other people. And y'all go into this big house in the woods and shit. And he's like a shaman. And he has uh, an assistant that's with him, and he'll work with you individually. Like you won't do, you won't have to necessarily do the group thing. Yeah, yeah, you could, but it's still to, for yeah. the twelve minute trip. No, this oh, is for the ayahuasca. Hours, that's nigga. for the all night. All oh no, night no, I'm, I'm sign, sign me up for the twelve minute. That's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah, what yeah. I want to do. I want to do the. Yeah, I want to do the DMT. You said vomiting for hours? No, yeah. no, 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 no. no. Yeah. Sign me up for the twelve. No, I want to do. I want to do crying, uncontrollable laughter, just everything. Nah, bro. sign me up for the DMT, the toad. Yeah, the twelve that, minutes. Yeah, I want to yeah. go into yeah. the portal. Yeah. You know, Give me all I want to do shit. the ego. Death. Let all the shit that needs to come out. I, yeah. out. I, I, I do them both at the same time. My hey, name's yeah. Kisa. <laughs> Fucking that's like <laughs> that should probably be like the first time I got Drink dusted and shit. shit be like, smoke some DMT shit away. See y'all niggas in hell. Yo, he'll be on some three D <laughs> shit, <laughs> seeing through us like yeah, I, the, I see shit. a spirit. He'll become he'll fuck around. He'll become Neo in the Matrix and shit. Yo, for real, man. I might not come back. So, um, definitely shout out to that. Any shaman out there want to take us on a DMT trip? Big facts. Twelve minutes back and forth. Holla at your boy. Yes, I need please. that shit. Get us all I plugged in there. Mental unblocking. All, all the God cast and the brother skit. So big facts. We'll take a trip. Yeah. I don't want none of that shit. Keep that shit the fuck away from me. I talk a lot of shit. Don't listen to anything I say. I'm a fucking liar. That's this. That's now. Give him three minutes. He's going with us. You see, I just like, reloaded that bitch. He'd be like, yo, you got the plug? Hell yeah. <laughs> Come back with some peyote or some Let, shit. Yeah. Oh, peyote. I did Shout that out before. to the brother um, Garcon. I did, I, I did peyote. That was crazy. That was like a two-day trip. Uh, I was like, wow. I was like 19. I did yeah. that shit. Yeah. That was crazy. In the desert? No, in fucking Hackensack. Oh, somebody, somebody brought it? <laughs> the, the urban the desert. desert. Of Hackensack. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where The that deserts shit. of Hackensack. No, I knew this one white boy, man. That nigga was crazy. Shout out to the brothers that back in the day, because now shit's like accessible. Shout out to the brothers that back in the day used to come through with some shit that you'd be like, oh, yeah. you got what? You got right? hash. Yeah, yeah. they be like, I got yeah. hash. Yeah. Oh, Where I the fuck fucking... you get shrooms from, nigga? Shroom. Yeah. yeah, some random yeah. shit that in the 90s wasn't like... Yeah. Even like certain buds, if you'd be like, yo, I came through with some Hell Cali yeah. bud. You'd Orangina. Like, Cali bud? Oh, some Orangina. Shit. Yeah. Shout out to all them brothers, man. Oh, yeah. Let's get into the digital era. You started dropping uh, on Apple Music. The first project I got, or excuse me, the first song I got was the Turncoat Syndicate back in 2020. Then you followed that up with No Hook Part 3 and Afternoon Push. That was all 2020 drops. That was actually all November 2020. Was that you like um, trying out the digital waters? Just getting music out however you can at shout the time. Out, shout out to Tom Delay. Oh, 2020. Yeah. Um, let me think. I got 2020, I feel like it was Corona time, right? Yeah. But if you yeah. check on Bandcamp, a couple of them songs is way before that. You know what I'm saying? Like the No Hooks project was way before 2020. Yeah. Probably, probably 2014. I don't fucking know. Oh, you probably just got I it just, onto, the, onto the Apple music. I just got so much shit out there. It's like, it's overwhelming. It comes to the point I have no idea anymore. All I, I could recite every one of those motherfuckers though off the top, no problem. But then there was a two year gap between uh, Afternoon Kush yeah. and Jersey Drive. Well, you gotta understand this. Here, here, here's the thing. Um, I have three daughters. And, Shout um, out to that. For, oh, yeah. for, for two of my daughters, um, you know, for eight years, I raised them alone. You know what I'm saying? So, Shout out to that. Wow. So it, it, it wasn't that. I mean, I, they wanted me to tour. They wanted me to go to France, London, all this shit. But uh, it was impossible. Right. So uh, there was definitely a big gap in my in my career. I mean, but that's when I. That's why I kept battling though, because if you check the timeline, 
if I wasn't putting nothing out, I was still dropping battles every couple months. Right. Because I had to stay busy. Shout out to Just Days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had to stay busy. I had to stay busy. Like I gotta stay relevant. Like niggas know who I am and they want they want the schizo. So I'm gonna give it to them because that shit helped me just like it helped them. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. But um because I had um to take care of my babies 24-7, 365 times eight, um, it did hinder a lot of my Ability to tour and, and do shows. I did hella shows, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I don't regret none of it. No, nah, that's a small hell price to pay, not. bro. Yo, bro, you you bro. Uh, you chose yo, the ultimate victory. Yo, my daughters yeah. is my best fucking friends, nigga. Hell you remember yeah. Enter the Dragon, Bruce bro, Lee? Yeah. 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 You remember when Mr. Han take the nigga in the room and he's like Roper. He take Roper in the room. Roper's like, oh. A man that has a lot of women. Yeah. I like that. And he's like, oh, yeah. he said, they are my daughters. And yeah. he said, oh, I'm sorry. Hello, Mr. Han. And she flips the nigga. Yeah. And he goes, they're also my greatest guards. Yeah. That's my motherfucking babies. That's what's up. KK Nala, Sophia, I love y'all. Yeah, yeah. shout out to them, man. Shout, shout out to yeah. girl guys. Brother Blood yeah. got three daughters. Yeah. That's what's yeah. up. I got yeah, two. Yeah, man. Yo, what did Nas say? They two, said, man. Nas said, the coolest, coolest heartbreakers, heartbreakers in the world. In the world. world. God gets us God gets back. He makes us have precious little girls. Little girls. Yeah. Yeah. Word up. For my niggas with daughters. I call it one of my favorite songs. Man. Yeah, shout man. out to them. Yeah, that song was crazy. Oh. Shout out to the God. Oh, man. Hell yeah. Let's Beautiful. get to the diversity uh EP in 2022. Yeah, that was that was um engineered and recorded by my brother uh uh Cash for uh, Cash Studios. Do you remember who did the production? Ah, it's all type of producers on that bitch. All different brothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, on uh, that Tom Delay, shout out Tom Delay. Um, oh yeah. Oh, no, like, shit, it's a bunch of motherfuckers on there. I don't know. There was a couple features on there too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah King Light. And, yeah, uh, King Light, man. Listen, man. King Light just dropped Mass Abduction on Bandcamp. Please go get it. Get a nigga a dollar, my nigga. That shit is worth it, bro. We have a song together on there called Minority Report. Life's a vicious it's cycle. Fucking hair raising. But well, hold on, y'all don't give me the double like, back. Shit, and the shit might Life's make me cry. Cycle. Like, until you get it straight. Yeah, man. Shout out to it's King. It's one of them like, story joints. Yeah. It's just, it's just like, it's the Minority Report. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you still into movies like that? Hell yeah, but I never, I never seen a Minority Report. <laughs> nah, nah. nah. me this, neither. Actually, this is the Minority. I already report like yeah. this is this is what you, all of us sometimes you know what I'm saying that's one thing hip hop's missing like a little good remember when like hip hop like would give you answers to your own problems in life remember yeah. certain songs would make yeah, you be yeah, like yeah, damn yeah. I feel the same way and thank mm-hmm. you for putting it like that because mm-hmm. I never realized it. right that's what the minority report is it's one of those like you'd be like damn like yeah like I get it. Yourself. I feel the same way. I just ain't know how to say it. I right. think that's why uh, suicidal thoughts was as popular as it was. Fuck yeah! Back then, um, that's was crazy. Back Fuck then, yeah. we weren't allowed. Not well. No, back then, we weren't right. allowed to say Mental you were having them suicidal yeah. thoughts. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. So when a song like that came out, everybody felt that way at one yeah. point or another. Hell yeah! And yep. you couldn't vocalize it, or they'd fucking and so he true. Did. Yeah. You, who knows what? So true. Um. So yeah, I definitely feel that, bro. There was oh. there were a lot of songs like that. Sure. You know what's funny? Um, My mind's playing tricks on mind's me. Mind's playing Big tricks facts. on you. Remember that Jay and Beanie song about the dad? Yeah, about yeah. not having a dad. Yeah, yeah. I had a dad. Amazing. Yeah. Like my dad. Shout out to him. Oh, I spoke yeah. to him yesterday. He was in my life from birth to to, to today. Now, yeah. But yo, I felt that song. Mm-hmm. Like, dad. like I felt like I could, I could feel for the brothers that didn't have a dad. Like the song was so good that it put me in that place. Like, my father, he, he's my, his verse on there, yo. He really breaks down. My father shit. faked his death. No shit. I thought he was dead my whole life. I found out. At, I, I found out at 38 years old he was still alive. What? Not in Puerto Rico. And I went to Puerto Rico to visit him when I was 40. Shout out to him. Oh uh, yeah. Shout out to my sister, Natalie. That's a crazy story though. Yeah, that's crazy. I got wow. I got wow. Um. Siblings I ain't even know about. Shout out to Brian, Kevin. Shout out wow. to Lil Man. Shout out to um, Nestor Jr. I still ain't okay. met him. You don't want to meet me. It's all right. I love you, nigga. I'm with you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's crazy. Shout out to Pop yeah. Dukes, oh, though, yeah. man. Yeah. Shout out to all the Pop Dukes yeah. out there, bro. Shout out, shout out to all the too. stepdads, too, that stepped it up for yeah, big fact, shout out to them. Big shout out. They don't get the props they deserve. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the real MVPs right there. Shout out to the stepdads. Shout out to my it dad. It takes a hell of a man to raise somebody else that he didn't create. As someone who's failed at that constantly, 
uh, I give super props to brothers that have been able to do that successfully. Big fact. Word up. Um, you continue to drop music all the way through the end of the year. You drop Fallen Angels, you drop Back from the Dead, and you drop Brotherhood um, to wrap up the year. How much more music you got ready to come out now? I have a fuck ton of music, bro. Um, shout out to King Light. Okay. Me and King Light, we've been doing this 20 plus years. We're dear friends. His children are my children and vice versa. Shout out to that. We have, well, our group, me and King Light's group, is called Free Radical Scavengers. Okay. There's a Free Radical Scavenger album on Bandcamp called Parasite City. Good morning. It's Good afternoon. Yes, it's yes, just yes, lyricism yes, at its finest. Oh, um, we have another two albums ready to drop tomorrow. He just dropped Mass Abduction. We have a next philosophy album that we're going to drop next month. Um, I also have Helen Music with my brother um, Cash from Cash Studios. Um, so we got to get together and we got to we got to iron some shit out and once we iron it out the music's never going to stop the brotherhood's never going to stop mm. um we just got to iron some shit out my brother Tom Delay he was sending me some joints CG CG the producer follow him shout out to you twin he's sending okay. me some joints like everything uh everything coming together everything going to be everything i'm going to continue to do what it do because let me tell you something this ain't a full contact sport I don't give a fuck how old you are. Shout out to Conway. Okay. Shout out to RJ, RJ Payne. Motherfucking. Oof. RJ Payne is a beast, yo. And these niggas is my age. Yo, RJ West Payne Side is Gun, yeah. Benny the Butcher. Facts. And they talking that shit I want to hear. This is not a full contact sport. My knees don't get bad. Hmm. As long as I don't rock my fucking brain, I got something for you. Nostradamus should not have stopped writing at 25. You feel me? Plato shouldn't have stopped writing. There's no age limit to this shit. If you talking that shit and you got them bars, my nigga, we fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Yo, even the old. rapper, even the rapper Nostradamus, that's even Nas what, himself, yeah. imagine he would have stopped that's five, six I, albums ago. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't have what we getting today from him, Magic, KD3, all that shit. That's a fact. And that's why I named the album Diverse City mm -hmm. because I'm trying to Make the shit that, that, that uncles could listen to with their nephews and they could both agree this shit is hard. Mm, That's yeah. why I'm fucking with the auto tune and all that. Real niggas, we not supposed to do that. My niggas mad at me for fucking with all that auto tune shit, but I'm like, yo, my nigga, I'm trying to bridge the gap. Mm. Like, if you know how to freak it, it's kind of cool. You could actually make some shit sound good, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas are scared to experiment because they feel like they selling the culture out. Listen, man. Now, you got, you got a couple got of joints involved. I was feeling. Yeah, you got mm -hmm. the one that that I guess you were battling, and then the same yeah. bars that you spit in the battle. Yeah, you, you hit it on the auto tune. I was like, yo, that shit sound crazy. You're looking, beloved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Cash Stu, man. Shout out to um, yeah, that's the battle I was talking about. That's my first battle, my very first one. Like, like, like when I realized, like, oh shit, these dudes know everything about us. Like, shout yeah. out to D Boy, man. Oh, yeah. When you realized that, did you then start going back and preparing for your opponents? Because remember you said I at first you did eventually. Yeah. I did eventually. <clears throat> eventually because Poison Pen and them used to tell me, yo, Skits, bro, like you up next. Like I remember Pumpkinhead, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, man. I remember him being like, yo, Skits is the next nigga up. Like, so yeah, I started because they started telling me like, stop playing with these niggas, bro. Let's, let's get down to business. And I'm yeah. like, all right, fuck it. But when I started doing that, that's when niggas stopped showing up. <laughs> now they knew you was ready for that war. That shit was mad, yo. That shit was infuriating, bro. But I was still like, yo, all right, fuck it. Like I'm here though. I'm yeah. here though. Who won it? Like I'm gonna kill anybody in the room. There, it was even to a point. I remember one battle. Um, I went my opponent in the show, and I was calling everybody out. I was on the stage. You can ask for his pen. Tell me if I'm lying. Ask money bags. Tell me if I'm lying. Peace, swim, nigga. I was on the stage. Like, yo, none of y'all niggas want to battle me. All y'all niggas in here is pussy, nigga. Like, and nobody battled me that night. I couldn't believe it. I was infuriated. My brother was up here from Miami. Like, I was infuriated, bro. I, I felt like, wow, bro. Like, when the fuck did we get to this point where, like, if you don't got it prepared, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't just battle? Yeah. Uh, when the fuck did we get here? How did we get here? Just imagine today. Wow. Yeah. 
Imagine what today. The fuck. At least uh, back That's then. That's selling the back, culture out. Back then, you had to go through that that the that, gauntlet. Uh, the gauntlet word. That's the a great word. Gauntlet. Yeah. Now anybody could rap. Yeah. And anybody could claim to be whatever they want. Yep. You know. Well, what here's I'm the thing. Technology fucked the game up. I'm gonna tell Go you why. It. it it did both. You know. I'm a, I'm benefits you, and and negatives. I'm, I'm gonna put it to you like this. Now you gonna you gonna feel me on this. Watch this. We had to be rappers, meaning we had to write our rhymes, come to the studio with yeah. it prepared. You mm-hmm. don't want to waste time. You're mm-hmm. paying for this shit. Mm-hmm. You don't got a MacBook with a yeah. fucking microphone. You no, got to yeah. pay $100 an hour, $50 an hour. Mm-hmm. All right. So you come prepared. These niggas now, they go and they say, yo, yo. They get all fucked up and they be like, yo, hey, yo, I swing at the ops. I come with the chop. All right, bring it, bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, they pizza. They, yeah, I swim with the yeah. op. I come with the. Ju- oh shit! Bring it back. Bring it back. I have friends of mine that are engineers that are like, bro, I want to kill myself recording these kids. They come with nothing prepared. They get all fucked up, and I just punch them every fucking second. Yeah, yeah And yeah. it pieces together, and it sounds good because I make it sound good. Yeah. He's not a rapper. He's a gangster. He's a killer. He's a murderer. There's a level of nerdness to rapping. Yeah. You can still be a gangster, a killer, and a murderer. But yeah. you gotta know how to do that shit. But you also have you to have a that, certain level yeah, of intelligence yeah, yeah. Right. and right. vocabulary right. That's what I mean. and you gotta know rhythm, how to and talent, and patience, yeah, and, talent. Yeah. and, and patience, yeah. Yeah. You and know? creativity. Like, there's so many factors to being a rapper that kids just aren't yeah. using or yeah. utilizing they think because it's just because down. they're not rappers. No. Yeah. They're killers, they murderers, they gangsters. Mm-hmm. They just can rap because it's put together so easily for yeah. them. Yeah. They don't come to the studio with the shit written. No, they don't practice. Nothing. No, They'll no. tell you themselves, I'm not a rapper. I yeah. never wanted yeah. to be a rapper. Yeah, yeah. And they send 100 million. You know, More money than God. That's funny because now, for example, before he passed away, rest in peace, King Vaughn, he had put out a song that was like a story. Something, East Side Story, West Side Story. That shit was hard. I know exactly what you're talking about. That shit was uh, super hard. Damn. That's my favorite joint of his. But peep how the audience acted like it was the first time they ever heard a story yeah, rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They was like, oh my God, it's like a story in a Mind rap song. Can you yeah. believe it? <laughs> and we're looking at them like, damn, but it's not, but now, it's dope, but it, it's not the best story I've ever heard. Uh, you ever heard of niggas bleed? Yeah. You ever heard right. of children, you, children's story? Yeah, you, back to story. I was just yeah. about to say that. If you play children's story, they can't even follow it. No. no. It's too Crazy. it's too descriptive it's too and, and and yeah, too too like just dope for them. Yeah. Too dope for them. Yeah. Their minds like can't. their ears are not trained for that. No. It's like like, it was like playing it for your mom back in the day. Crazy story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, 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 yeah. Wouldn't, uh, they couldn't comprehend right. it. And yeah. look at the name of the title for the song, Crazy Story. Yeah. That was the name of the song. What's the song about? <laughs> it's a crazy <laughs> story. <laughs> <laughs> story. <laughs> so creative. <laughs> and rest in peace to King Vaughn. I fuck with King Vaughn. Yeah, nah, it's oh, no it's just all, that this, the, the culture all. is very dumbed down now. It is. And uh, it is. Any, much. any like... I don't know anything like... I don't know what it is, man. It sucks because any fucking idiot could do this now. Yeah, anything yeah. beyond a certain lev- level of creativity yeah. is like blown up to be like uh, some Shakespearean yeah, fucking bro. eternal rhyme pattern or scene and shit. And you're like, yo, but they did this shit 40 years ago. Exactly. The simplest of rappers was doing this back exactly. in the day. Bro, Karen's one nigga? Like, mm. what the fuck? The God right there, like, come on. Exactly. Cool Look at this rap. nigga chain. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Cool, Eric B cool, was a gangster. Talk about Coogee rap. Styles, rap. styles. That's that's fashion. that's why that's why I don't get into rap combos with Jitterbugs. Me neither. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you know they don't need they don't they argue with some shit. They don't even know what you're talking about. They'd be like, Have you ever heard of this? They'd be like, No. I'm like, Then what are we talking about? <laughs> no, I'm Word. saying you never yeah. even heard of what Word. I'm telling you. And you trying to put me on to fucking. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm going to take a cheap shot at, like, Kendrick. But if you're trying to put me on a Kendrick, like, yo, but you never heard fucking Farrell Munch, then we can't talk. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Come on. But that, that 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 makes us the old heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you old you know, head. That you makes old us head. the old heads. But, you know, but, but and, and you know what's funny, though, because I always feel like not only were we wow. in the best time of hip-hop, is because we can put it into context because... The niggas that came before us weren't as dope. Only, I mean, I'm not going to front on Kooji Rap, Slick Rick, but, like, I'm talking about the apex of rap was the 90s, bro. Hands down. 
Yeah. Like, yeah. there's no if, ands, or buts about but it, you, bro. But you, you ask Melly Mel and them that, and they're going to disagree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know yeah they, they, it's, uh, like, course, it's like uh, having a basketball debate. Every generation yeah. has their goat. Yeah. You know what of I'm saying? Course, of course they're going to disagree, but you just got to look at you, the you, body of work. Like, what came out in the 80s pales in comparison to the amount of music that came out in the 90s. Yeah. And then what came out now, now it's all saturated, but the quality is just... No, Shit. I, and the level, no, but level. you know what it is too, though. Um, our our culture grew with the the same technology as it grew back then. So, so for example, um, when our hip hop started blowing up, MTV was also blowing up. Fucking yeah, cable nationwide was blowing up. BET fucking radio was suddenly having hip hop stations that you know didn't come up with the birth of hip hop. Like it yeah. took them a few years. So yeah, all that shit kind of hit at once, and then like. Hip hop actually started getting some money, and then we had the best rappers too, uh, you know. But it was like so many factors that made that shit eternal, bro. No, there'll never be like even rappers that died in the eighties at their prime. For example, like Scholar, Scholar Rock. Rock, nobody looks at Scholar Rock like they look at Biggie and Pop. Right, you feel exactly. me? Because yeah, our, yeah, our, yeah. our shit became iconic at that time and yeah. global at the same time. Because exactly. so. yes, it was already uh, again at its <clears throat> apex, like. Even yeah, the technology yeah, the talent, wasn't the talent, as clean. Yeah, the talent, the talent, the technology, yeah. was at the highest level. Yeah. You, you, you know, and you the hear competition from too. Now, yeah, and, and you be like, damn, that beat is hard. But then you go to like, I don't fucking know, like, like some shit that came out in the nineties. Like, I'll say, for example, the hell artifacts to the artifacts <laughs> album the other day. Oh, and the yeah. samples are so fucking Rest cool. Rest in peace, yo. Team One, my nigga. Yeah, Rest in peace, peace, Hurricane G, man. Absolutely. Word up. Rest in peace to both of them. That ass. Yeah, bro, but the 90s was a different beast, bro. Everything from the 90s is the shit still. And, you know, not, uh, not to sound like the old heads, you feel me? Again, but look at how much shit from the 90s continues to like get remade and rebranded. Lost first yeah. album, yeah. Yeah. Like, camp yeah. shit, like what? Even songs, like there's so many but songs you, that you hear now, it's just a 90s redone again. Yeah, you got to think of it this way, though, too. Like yeah. in the 90s, we were sampling stuff from the 60s and the 70s. That was 20 years prior. 20, right. 30 years prior. Yeah. So now it's the so same they're, cycle. They're now doing it's the same, same cycle. Thing. Now yeah. it's the same cycle. Just that, like I said, we're the old heads, so now we're a fan. Yo, this is crazy. Biggie's <laughs> old school, nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he ain't. No, no, yeah. no. I'm just saying. Like, I, had that, I had that yeah, conversation last time. Yeah. To the young heads. He ain't to me. It's to the young heads, yeah, to us. Yeah, yeah. No, he's not old school to me. No, no way. way. As you get older, you realize that your good memories are like in a time vacuum. Oh, of course. So it's always like... They're tied you know, within the period of like... Biggie and Pop like will always 18. be the shit and like... 1820. Um, Freddie will always be the shit yeah. and fucking... Yeah. Hot 97 will always be the hottest station. Yeah. Like, right no matter what, Hot 97 could go off the air tomorrow and you still be like, yo, nah, Hot I'm fucking with 94.7. People, yeah, people the that don't... Block, yeah. People that the don't block, even holla, even holla at your boy. The I'm block. trying to get on there, bro. Oh, get people, another, a show or something. People that exactly. don't even live in New York know about Hot 97. Exactly. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, That's man. That's a good point. Wow. That's crazy. Yo, you remember when Hot 97 was Hot 103? Dang. That was one of the freestyle oh, stations still? God. Yeah, like they was putting hip hop on, yeah. but it was just freestyle. Yeah. It was Hot 103 before that. I was like, yo. I love freestyle. Yeah, time, freestyle, yeah, that's another. How could I not? Exactly. That that's that that is like that goes back to Puerto the, Rican pop. Yeah, yeah. That goes back to the nostalgia <laughs> thing we were talking about before. Absolutely. You know. Yeah, you shout out to Stevie like, D. Don't mind you holding that old controller. Because that's, that's another yeah. piece. That's another piece of art or music that has its own period. Y'all time. remember um Dance Party you know USA? Yeah, of course. Um, USA yes. Network. Yeah, <laughs> commercial. You see, you get the CD. Yeah, Yo, good shit, bro. Word up. Um, you got anything coming up? You you said you got another comic dropping. Yeah. And then you want to drop another comic tying in the universe with uh that's with the brother the one light, I'm right? Dropping, I'm dropping. That's the next yeah. one. That's the that's the connector already. Yeah. And Let's then go. you want to continue to grow that brand oh, yeah. and, and keep putting oh, out. Yeah. Let's go. Will, will it yeah. continue to be songs to coincide oh, yeah. with the comic? That's exactly it. If it's yeah. not that, then it's not it's what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. So, have y'all ever heard more, of a of I, a comic I, album? Is that a thing? Like, has anyone ever done this before? That's a good. Yeah, idea. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because um, you can then compile the songs into a full audio like story, right? What for like an hour oh, and a oh, half? Oh, oh, you meant a Why whole not? comic book album? Pieces. Like Hamilton, like Hamilton. 
Yeah, yeah, right. If this is the first song and this starts the story, yeah, and then the next song continues it, and let's say oh, you okay. get ten songs deep, well, we just we just gonna get our feet wet a little bit more. Before yeah, eventually maybe, you could possibly fucking, yeah. that's something to consider. I never even thought of that. Yeah, yeah. ding, exactly. Yeah. Take that, yeah, take that. that. Off the, uh, right there. Yeah. Yeah. And and I don't think that's ever been done before. So that should be some new next well, level Prince shit. Paul, and then Prince you, Paul uh, did a um. Oh, Prince his, his, his was like a movie yeah. though, right? He did yeah. a Prince of Monkey. I actually like that album. That shit was dope as fuck. You know yo. what? Incredible. That's that's where I gotta say technology today yeah. is a benefit because we was talking about how it could be a negative. Yeah. It's a benefit in the in the music library sense. So back in the day, Prince Prince Among Thieves, I remember seeing that ad in the source. Yeah, and I remember too. wanting to buy that album, but never really getting around you never to heard it. it. Have you ever heard it? Check it out. I wanted to buy it. I never got around to it. Okay. I wanted to buy the bootleg okay. specifically because I was cheap back in the day. You feel uh, me? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. No, no offense to all the artists, but Canal yeah, yeah, yeah. Street used to hold me down. Absolutely. And I wanted to buy the bootleg. I never found it, so I never got it. Right. I recalled that album maybe within the last year or two, and I, on Apple Music you can find, find any anything. fucking album. Absolutely. So I heard it, and I was like, "Oh shit, Big Daddy Kane's a vampire." Yeah. Or some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they end up in the jail cell. Yeah, yeah, that so, shit is somebody's dope, the guard. That shit yeah. is dope as fuck. So it's super he's dope, like, and count chocolate. And that's and one of them shit. shits that you could smoke a blunt or whatever, uh, and yeah. close your eyes and just imagine like, the movie. You know, you, you know, know the part that. Um, that uh, Everlast plays. You know oh, who? He, you know cop. who? He, yeah, the cop. You know who he really wanted to get to play that part? Vanilla Ice. No, no shit. He tried Bro, to get Vanilla Ice, and Vanilla Ice turned it down. Wow. Damn. But again, yeah. that was more like yeah. a movie. Shout yeah, out to absolutely. shout out to technology because now shout you can out to Prince to Paul any for fucking that. album. That's a dope yeah. album. Shout out to You know who did something like that recently? Um, Master Ace and somebody did like a, 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 a like a story called like Brooklyn Love Story or Brooklynville. Mm, I gotta look that up. It's a yeah, comic book, and it, no, it's like a movie album, like uh, oh, okay. the the, like the Prince, Prince Paul, Paul album. Yeah. Wow. But this, what I'm what I'm thinking um, okay. for the brother Ski Rap would be more like a comic album, and right. then he could connect the videos with Absolutely. the album and sell some yeah. shit yeah. like yeah. this yes. with the motherfucker. Exactly. You yeah. could yeah. sell, yeah. You yeah. sell yeah. it like that. You could stream it somewhere. Hell yeah. You could obviously drop it. Shout out to Good Looks Media. Oh, yeah. Big Triple. Best kept. What up? Shout out to that what man. Definitely, we want to look into that. Uh, the autobiography. Work on that for sure, man. Some Maybe works. some therapy. How, Maybe how about some the merch DMT. for the for the uh, comics? The merch. merch, yeah. Because that shit. That I like that shirt. That shirt right, is dope. Look, yeah. No, we working on the merch. I'm actually about to get the damn um machine and just start printing this shit up myself. Because everybody even better. Yeah. Because everybody um the shit that they it ain't that hard to. Damn, do I'm gonna do it my damn self. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe like. Uh, but yours is different because it's yeah. like sparkly. Yeah, that shit. shit is fine. Yeah, yeah, nah, sure. So this is my, one of my homegirls put this together. Yeah. That shit is yeah, fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a real comic effect to it. Yeah, that shit fine. Right, you know what me. you could do too. That is, you know, this. All right, to go back to the conversation. This is the other shit about technology today. You could fucking do anything, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, you could literally do anything. I've seen some shit now that they'll make your own action figures. Yeah. yeah, I'm working on oh, one, so one of those 3D printing. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking at the shirt, and I'm like, damn, girl. but that yeah. could be like an action figure yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. to go with the yeah. comics. And, and I just remember on IG, I seen some shit like you can make your own comic book. Yeah. Uh, I mean, your own uh, action figure. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, look Ski at this. Ski rap action shit. figure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm working on one of those too. Word. It's a 3D shit. You got to stand in this shit, and it like yeah. sculpts your whole shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. You know I love He Man. Hey, yo, hey, love yo. Love hey, yo. No, but it, re- the, it, it I, I would say pause. I just that. remember the story <laughs> because He Man uh, started Fuck out that. as a toy. Yeah, before it was yeah. a cartoon. Yeah, it was just sold as toys, yeah, and then yeah, they made yeah. it a cartoon. Yeah, big facts. You feel me? I actually have the first He Man comic book. I have all those comic books, all the, uh, the, ah. the superpower ones, the GI Joe ones, the He Man ones. Not G.I. Joe, I'm sorry. He-Man ones. I have like, you know, a little Ziploc with mm. mad of them, all the little ones. They used to come with the toys. I saved yeah. them all. Shout out, to, shout out to the masters toys. of the universe, bro. Shout out. That's exactly Hell what yeah. the fuck we are. Skeletor was that dude, exactly. though. He was a little universe. bitch. He was a little Skeletor. bitch in the funniest way, though, yo. <laughs> Big facts, yo. He had that crazy voice. You, you know what's the other thing about uh, technology? Man. Is that you could go back, like Burns said, and, and find shit, right? So. Yeah. Uh, on Instagram the other day, I see the real Skeletor, like what he really looked like before he became a skeleton. And I had never seen that shit before. Word. And it's like, sometimes even when you're That's not looking fine. for it, you get, you get shit from you your youth. Shit, and yeah. you're like, yo, I never knew that That's shit. Like, no, what I mean? you, know, like, you know what I... 
you know what I seen a video, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I seen a video because I be checking the shit out. I seen a video on YouTube and shit that wound up on my feed about the uh, Thundercats real live action movie. That never came wow. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah Yo, that oh, shit would have yeah. been so fire. Hell yeah, hell yeah. There was supposed what? to be a Nicolas Cage as Superman movie. Yeah, I seen That's that. Another too. one. Really? Yeah. 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 YouTube yeah. be putting you on to the illest hell shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> That's but that's the problem. Now we have so much entertainment and so much content and so much shit that we're bombarded and our yeah. creativity gets killed little by little because now we don't have to imagine nothing. Yeah. You know, what True. I'm saying? just find True. it on YouTube. Yeah. When I got them wrestling toys, I held them in my hand and I was like, damn, I used to sit for hours and really like imagine whole fucking WrestleManias yeah, in my brain yeah, yeah. with this shit. And I'm looking at it now like, damn, y'all, I used to have a whole imagination. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I can't even remember the last time I imagined some shit. I want to cop some Transformer right? shit, but they're too expensive. Yo, I seen yo. some new Transformer toys. Yeah. Oh, matter of fact, to go back to what you were saying, let me tell you a quick story. When I was young, I had a Knight Rider toy, uh -huh. and it was the one I think you would pull the license plate, and it would talk to you. And oh, shit. you would press the license yeah, plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah, that yeah. And, it, and it had the dude, yeah. Um, yeah. Michael Knight. Yeah, Michael Knight yeah. Yeah. toy. Yeah, had Michael and he Knight, barely yeah. fit in the car. Yeah, yeah. he fit With weird. The in the car, he had a, it was a T top. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I had yeah, that shit, and it was my favorite toy in the world. And one day, my mom made me let Taina hold the dude. Uh huh. And oh, was, yeah, yeah. So the baby in a carriage, still. Uh -huh. oh, okay. And she yeah, lost you it. told me that oh. shit. She lost the Michael Knight. And I remember telling my mom, like, yo, she fucking lost Michael Knight. Like, I got a kid and no Michael Knight. What the fuck was supposed to do now? Yeah. Mom, you know, like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, so yeah, that is. 20 years later, 30 years later, whatever. Uh -huh. I've told Taina this story. Cause I, yo, I'll never forget that story. And I was a child. I might have yeah. been five or six years old. She bought it. She replaced it. Uh, the whole thing? Yeah. Oh. And I got it, cute, and I, and I got it in the crib bone in a box. I've that's never dope. took it out the box and shit. That's wow, nice, that's dude. Yeah, God so bless her. I, I, I want to almost pass it down the line to, to your son. And nah, shit. nah, nah. He'll destroy it because he'll, 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 he'll really play with that shit. So now, Yo, yeah. I told y'all. I told well, you it's supposed to be played with. That shit is sitting in a box in a on box. top of my closet. Nah, but your sister, no, nah, not for bro. nothing. Your sister gave that to you. Yeah, That's for you. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, nah, nah, nah. But I get it. He don't want to fuck it up. He don't want to lose Michael Knight. It's wasting in in the box. I get it. I'd rather your son fucking enjoy it. True, true, true. Motherfucker might be worth something. Let me not fuck it. Nah, yeah. That's the other thing. Maybe one night I get drunk and I just bust them all out. Like fuck it. We gonna do imagination night. Let's go. Oh yeah. Yo. Get yo, back to the roots. You don't know how many Burns. times I've been like, yo, I'm going to smoke a blunt. I'm going to go home play with them little wrestling toys. I'm going to make my imagination work. <laughs> yo, I know I told you this, Burns, right. but um, yeah. I uh, I wound up finding uh, Averex that my brother had got beat for when he was like in high school. Oh, you told me and, about that. Uh, yeah. yeah, I copped it for him on his 40th birthday this year. I found it and I was like, yo, I'm, I cannot. There's no way I'm going to pass this up. And I, whatever they charged me, I paid that shit. I was like, yo, he needs to get this. Yeah. Because it's that, it's that nostalgia thing, bro. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. when he got it, like I told him, I was like, yo, I'm going to help you go find it. We're going to find who stole it. And and just something that never happened. You know what I'm saying? So I felt oh, I was so bad. Oh, so you had you know? the guilt because you failed him as big bro. Ooh. Exactly. Yeah. You know, not that I failed him because, <laughs> nah, nah. you know, it, it, is stupid. What it, it happens. But, you know, it's just yeah. something that. But you replaced so it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You know, it's also, replaced, it's also uh, because we're, so, we're from such an alpha era. That we kind of mm. want to pass on them old school values. Too, hell yeah. You know what I'm hell yeah. I made my daughter watch all the classic movies, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm sure you have oh, done yeah. the same thing. Big <laughs> facts. Bro, it'd be like, can we watch Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Like, hell, hell yeah. yeah. Let's hell do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> up. That's old school. That is old school. You That's still funny. into horror never movies? Never in the story and shit. What? Ski Rap, you still into horror movies? Nah. They no. suck now, right? Not even that. I just don't want to see that shit no more. I've no. seen it enough. It's, yeah, yeah, it's not the same. The eighties, uh, they had yeah. classic horror movies. Besides the, yeah. the 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 mainstream ones, Freddy and if Jason. If something and special shit. come on, like yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna let it ride. Like yeah. fucking Halloween four or so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some stupid. Night, it's some uh. High school, Ooh, high school Friday murder. Night was yeah, the yeah. Shit. <laughs> Yo, remember, Friday night was the shit. I was shit. talking about Wax House. Yeah, remember Wax House? The, the oh, theater. Yeah, the the Wax House. Yeah. 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 Some my Wax House. My homie other day. It's like, oh, that was a dope one. Yeah, bro. Nah, no, bro. There, was, there was a Return lot of classic of B dead, movies. My nigga. Yeah, like, yeah. What? Yeah, B movies now are, are called Tubi movies. Tubi yeah. movies. Tubi be the shit. Not Tubi. Nah, Tubi's the shit. They have, bro, they have movies you never heard of. Brickle they have Berry. dope movies, and then they have old school movies yeah. like mm -hmm. that you won't see anywhere else. I watched uh, Once Bitten on there. 
What's oh. been with Oh my God. Oh. With, Jim with Jim Carrey. Yeah. With Jim Carrey, yeah. Oh. Early ass Jim Carrey. That's crazy. Classic movies, bro. That might have been facts. his first movie. Probably. Shit, Johnny, right. Depp, Johnny Depp was in the first Friday the 13th. Yeah. Yes. yes. No. Nightmare on Elm no, Street. No, no. Yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. And Van Damme wow. was in uh, No Retreat, No Surrender. Big facts. Yes, he was. <laughs> he was the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he was. Matter, yo, matter of fact, I saw that, that Johnny, movie recently that. on Tubi. Shit, it's hard, right? <laughs> it's hard, but it's ass at the it's same hard, time. It's hard, it's hard to watch. <laughs> it's hard to watch. Yo. Yo. I was going to say that Johnny Depp nah. scene was the is Yo. the scariest scene in, in movie history. Hell yeah. He, when he, he gets through pulled through in the bed, bed and what? shit. Oh, my and God. all the blood Man, goes up. Yes. Yo, that shit had me traumatized. Awesome. I, I couldn't go to sleep, yo. Fucking you know, um... We was talking about the Nightmare on Elm Street song earlier with Fresh Prince. You remember yeah. he had another song where he said he could beat Mike Tyson? Yeah, that's yeah. a classic. <laughs> yeah. 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 And they had the that's video. That's the type of shit that spawns shit like this. Yeah, exactly. And, and this mind, is missing. Like, this is missing yeah. from hip hop today, man. Yeah, that creativity, man. that creativity fuck yeah. level. Yeah, fuck yeah. Facts. It's supposed to be fun, man. Uh, yeah. We got a, a a homie. We was actually talking about him earlier. The brother. Um, Alfonso Haran, he makes movies, and uh, he had a movie called, what is it, uh, Blood, The Fearless Three? Yeah. Fearless Three, yeah, yeah. Right, The Fearless Three, and he put a comic book out to go with the movie. Cool. And it was dope, man. So when I saw cool. your shit, I was like, oh, that's dope too, man. Shit, man. I really Com- like Comic that. books and hip-hop is, is uh... They go hand in hand, man. Yeah, it's a connection so that's I'm not often... I'm at me. I get him a sign-in over there in Teaneck. Yeah, yeah we're word. Definitely gonna do that. Definitely. Um, other than that, my bro, what mm-hmm. else can we look forward to for 2023 and beyond? Oh, wait, wait, we, we didn't get into your ghostwriting. Okay. Oh, shit. How'd you get into ghostwriting? And I'm not going to ask who you ghostwrite for, but how'd you get just get into that world? Just by being asked to and then putting the price to it. Yeah. yeah. So they came to you? They came looking for you? Yeah. Yeah. Is it hard to put yourself in someone else's no, shoes? No, not at all. It's actually easier, isn't it? Cause you can make that's like making something. All I got, all I got to do is I look at you, I speak to you. I already know what your ego is, yeah. and I'll just, you know, put some flair to your ego. Yeah. You'll love it. You'll pay me. <laughs> that's part of the screenwriting, though, right? Yeah. Like you're, you're, you're kind of doing like character development in a sixteen bar. Yeah, cover, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactamente. Right? Uh, yeah. Shout out to that, man. Is that something you continue to do? Actually, um, hey, man, if the money's right, I don't give a rat's hey, fuzzy hey. ass. How about it's Battle Rap? Is that something you plan on continuing to do? Thinking about it, man. Shout out to Lex Luthor. Oh, Shout out yeah. to um Battle um Battle Mode. What's it? Not, not Battle Mode. What the fuck I'm talking about? Um, fuck, bro. Luther going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up, look it up while you look it up. Shout Bad out to elite. Team Homie. Shout out yeah. to Good Looks Luther, Media. Give me a second. Beast Shout mode, out beast to mode. Uh, Shout beast out to mode. Beast Mode. Beast Mode Battle League, man. Shout out to Beast Mode. Shout out to be sorry, Lex. Nah. Shout out to Beast Mode. Yeah. We yeah. got it. We got it. I'm thinking about it, man. I'm, I'm considering it. I'm considering it. Um, are you more like available now? Because yes, I, I figure your daughter's are older 110%. now. One hundred ten percent. Now, now is the best time. I'm at the prime. I got all the time in the world. Right. And uh. Ah, uh, bro, I've never been, my sword has never been so sharp. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I got so much material, I got so much to talk about, I got so many new raps. Like, that's what's up, man. Bro, that's crazy, bro. That's got to be a good feeling of, like, freedom now. Yeah. And uh, real quick, you continue to, you mentioned Bandcamp a few times. Yeah. Um, do you fuck with them more because it's, it's more direct to customer than like Apple Music or Spotify? Some some shit you just can't put on, on DistroKid. Some shit you just can't put out there because um, it'd be like industry beats or uh, whatever. Because so of copyrights and shit. So yeah. Throw it on Bandcamp. The real fans go for it. Or SoundCloud. It's the same thing. Can you um like message on Bandcamp? Like, can you actually communicate I with the so. with the fans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bandcamp, yeah, and yeah. and uh, SoundCloud and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't you don't really see no residuals from it, but it's just for the love and um. Any promotion is good promotion. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Word. And interaction too. Yeah. Like, Facts, word. that's another thing that technology gave us that we didn't have so much back in the yeah. day. You couldn't just DM fucking Slick Rick. Yeah. Isn't that wild? That's great. That's wild. Imagine. <laughs> like, yo, Slick Rick. 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 You want to yeah. hear some bugged out shit? I got though? your tape, Bootleg. Like. <laughs> Why is it crazy? Shit. Here, here, check this out. I'm about to blow. I'm about to blow your minds, right? Mm. 
So um, through the Reaganomics, through the crack epidemic, um, they destroyed the platonic family, okay? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. as a result, now this is all set up from the beginning. Mm -hmm. As a result, most of us grew up with our fathers because our fathers were doing bids for trying to sell fucking two grams of crack. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. As a result, we were raised by women that resent men. As a result, we don't respect our elders. That's why you go see the Rolling Stones or the Red Hot Chili Peppers and you're paying $2,500 for a fucking nosebleed. Mm -hmm. But when you go to see Slick Rick, you're paying $25 at the door to a fucking shithole. Mm -hmm. We don't respect our elders. We're a bastard culture. That needs to be addressed. All the OGs need to set up a fucking insurance plan for these OGs. Like, I'm talking about the Jay-Zs and all mm -hmm. them niggas. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They need to set up some type of insurance plan, some type of something. Because without these brothers, you wouldn't be able to fucking sell that liquor. Yeah. You know what I'm that's, saying? Or that clothing. That's so that's a, that's we're, a fact, we're a bastard culture and Worse. that shit has to stop. We have to like really start loving our elders and embracing them because it ain't their fault. Message. It ain't Message. their fault, the Message. shit they went through. Let me tell you something. If you ever took an e-pill, you'd have been sniffing coke in the 70s. If you ever took a molly, you would have tried crack. Yeah. So don't judge them motherfuckers. Cause you just wasn't, you just lucky that Molly ain't had you robbing houses. See what I'm Word. saying? Like it's Word. real talk. So respect your elders. Real Shout out to Molly though. What? <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this fucking guy. He can fucking... turn a serious conversation into some. My some bad. Wild no, that was I dope message. <laughs> Absolutely, but damn, <laughs> that love drug make you feel good. <laughs> Sure nah, nah, but that's true. That uh, the the good thing is the that shit um, put holes in your head. Fuck that. The good thing is I, I, I probably got a fucking <laughs> my Swiss hey. cheese, bro. Yeah. Cheese. But, hey. <laughs> but <laughs> no, but shout out to all the families now because uh, I think statistically there are more fathers raising their children now than previously. So uh, the culture can hopefully go through a shift where p more people see complete families Sick. and fathers and, and actually have your daughters ever displayed any um, interest in stuff that you're interested in in comics or rapping yeah all that my daughters like 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 Mr. Han they're my they're my best guys you're training them yeah they're official bro <laughs> they're, they're official up. they real they real ones bro that's dope it, they're as real as they go you know we uh, we're the first generation of hip hop parents that's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Our parents, point. our parents were and not video game pops. parents yeah. and video game parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember trying to play Nintendo with my pops one time. I remember it was pro was wrestling happening? and everything. Yeah, yeah pro wrestling and shit. Yeah, and it was a simple game. Starman, like, hell yeah, love that game. <laughs> he just didn't get it. Word, but now we, although yeah. I'm not super video games, um, but this generation play. can play with their yeah. kids and at least you know that be some of our own best bonding times. Yeah. Me and my kids playing games because then they yeah. just open up to you. They tell yeah. you about their day yeah. and their week and oh yeah, exactly. Bobby said this and oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want you want some chocolate? What you want? You want to make hot chocolate? What you want? Yeah. 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 Nah, yeah. nah. <laughs> I just got the visual right the, now. The, yeah. the, the strategic techniques. Yeah. That's good. That was good. Nah, but yeah, it's good. Time. Times, man. Yeah, bro. Shout out to that, man. Shout out to all the parents. Facts. Yeah, Shout out to the generation that is now taking responsibility and doing Amen. the right thing, man. Gotta be. Amen. Shout out to Batman, yo. Shout out to DC. Hey. You know, um... Don't even tell me. You into wrestling? You know the Joker got pregnant? I saw that. He's a transvestite. What? What the what? fuck? <laughs> yeah. No, he's not a transvestite. It said he's he a pregnant tranny. Who? In the, in the new, in the latest comic book, the Joker is a pregnant transvestite. But no, it was no. it was a, 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 a wizard. What? A wizard put a spell on him <laughs> that made him get pregnant. Yeah, I don't know where the baby came out. Well, that's why he's oh, a transvestite because oh. it's a girl. The Joker was always a a, a girl dressed as a man, and now he's pregnant. Fuck hey, out of here! I mean, it's, man. No, no. Hey, but man. what I was gonna say is like D is like DC has Batman and Superman, uh -huh. and Marvel. Um, DC only got Batman, but they only got Superman. Nah, Superman putting dope. up no numbers because <laughs> they've been misusing that <laughs> no, franchise no. lately, bro. Our Superman was dope as fuck. Yeah, hell yeah, the eight. Yeah, our Superman oh, was yeah. Yeah. So Nobody could tell tell us nothing what? about Superman. Word, I feel you. So they're always gonna have that, and that shit is always gonna be the shit. Yeah. Marvel um, is like having a hot run, but 
if you're paying attention now, they're kind of falling off once the Avengers did Endgame with Thor yeah, and all yeah, that shit. Yeah. Like the next yeah. phase is, yeah. isn't as dope. And, and no, of course. It was at, it's already at its pinnacle. So it's, it's like they, they did like a WCW in wrestling. They hit their peak already. Yeah. It's yeah. like hip-hop, they, they bro. They came in, they it's were like hot, and now they're fading. But Superman and fucking Batman's always going to be there. And they're always going to be dope as fuck. Batman. 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 But Batman's probably doper than the whole Marvel, except Iron Man. Nah, he's not. Nah, Batman's dope than Iron Man. Yeah, hell yeah. Bro. Bro, hell no. Nah. Yo, don't sleep, don't sleep on Black Panther. Yo, Black Panther's Black Panther's shit. Batman. Black Panther, so. He's rich? Yeah, right? Uh, he's, he's the richest he's, he's, comic yeah. book. Uh, superhero. Really? Of all time, yeah. Word? Black yeah. Panther, yeah. So, all right, blood, Black Panther or Batman? Batman. Batman, Batman. but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just don't sleep on Black Panther. Batman, Batman. <laughs> well, the latest Batman movie, story, I say, uh, damn. The, if the it's the latest Robert one, Pattinson. it gotta be Black Panther, bro. Yeah, because that yeah. Batman was all depressed and shit. Although that yeah, that Robert Pattinson, Pat- it wasn't oh, a yeah, bad movie. It's right up your alley, <laughs> I fam. gotta watch that. <laughs> that probably Very be my emo. favorite fucking Batman ever. And shit. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. Yo, ain't nothing realer than watching your parents get killed, B. Yeah. Nah, but um, oh, that real, director, bro. the that's director unnatural. that did uh, uh, Black the Panther. Right word for that. But the, that's the, real though. Like, think of how how that shapes the rest of your life. Like you said in the song, yo. You're either gonna be. All the way left or all the way right. Yeah, bro. Where, like that shit is crazy. You're gonna die with a spike in your arm, and you're gonna be fucking Batman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you see that new Batman dude where um the alternate reality where um Bruce Wayne gets killed and the wife get killed and Thomas Wayne survives and he turns out to be the Batman. Pops, yeah, yeah, he's Batman now. He's an alcoholic. He got fucking guns. He blows niggas' brains out. He's like the Punisher. Wow. He's yeah. like a drunk Punisher. He's oh, a wow. maniac. That's crazy. That shit is fire. I gotta That's the check new... that out. Yeah, that shit Damn. is crazy. You still fuck with comics, VS? Uh, I haven't in a while, but you know, I'll get back into it. You know what's dope is that now you could do, although it can't be the same shit. Like you it's not. Comics I've done it. I've done it. I've checked it out. But there's nothing like that smell. No, hell no. Nah, like, yeah. Nah. Oh, yeah, from nah. the 80s and 90s, yeah. open that up, that, that yeah. old paper, yeah. 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 that old yeah. ink and paper. Hell yeah, bro. That shit was That's different. About different to go thing. home and snort a fucking comic book. <laughs> For real. <laughs> 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 feel fucking 10 years old again and shit. Like, oh. yeah. I found like 10 comic books in my garage the other day. I was like, oh shit. Dope. Old Tre- school joint. Treasure chest. Yeah. Wear it up. Shout out to comics, man. Shout oh, out to all the yeah. shit that held us down when there was not a lot of shit to hold Shout us down. Shout out to creativity. Back. You know what's crazy? I got my son a Nintendo Switch for Christmas, right? He wanted one. I got him one. Um, and on there, we got him Super Mario World where you could play every Super Mario game. And I started playing the old that official. Shit Yo, dope, right? and I got to me no, right back. Yeah. My wife is like, are you going to let them play? I was like, no. Fuck out of here. Let's bust it now. I'm nah, going to You don't remember when Super so Mario shit. 3 came out? My bad, blood. Man. Um, Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, I see some shit that's like Mario Kart, but the, it's like real cars, real remote control cars, and they're going around the house. And on the screen, it projects oh, yeah, yeah. everything on from the, the table. house. Micro uh, machine. Under the table, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Micro machine. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like the little, the little carts got like cameras on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, but it, on the screen, you can see your living room. Yeah. And it's like Mario Kart in your living room. Yeah. Yeah. That shit is crazy. Yeah, you better have a dope, dope living room. Yeah, so yeah. right now, like, on the TV, we would see the cars, and they'd be on the floor right now driving around. Uh, yeah. And around, and like, the studio so and shit. Like, they put, like, GoPros on remote control cars and shit. And that's just that, bananas, yo. Know, no. yeah. Yo, but you know they do Mario Kart in real life in yeah. Japan. Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Nintendo yeah. World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. on the street, once a year they do like real life Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, fucking for real. nuts. Yeah, bro. That's, that's why crazy. You gotta travel the world. Hey, I gotta get the fuck shit. out of here. Fuck this yeah, shit, bro. It's but bad. yo, I was gonna say, you don't remember Super Mario Three when Mario could fly all of a sudden? Yeah, that shit was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You the raccoon. Like, they man. got that in the game. I yeah. get on Yoshi and I fly. And then, yo, my but man. I mean, when you was a kid, Remember you was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Oh, shit, Hell yeah. That shit was crazy. Yeah, I, I, my kids got no playtime on the uh, Nintendo You debo the Hell yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a scumbag. <laughs> Bastard, bro. That nostalgia, bro. Yeah, you can't beat yeah. that drug, Hell man. Yeah. There's got to be a way to like... Bottle that shit up. Bottle yeah, that. Yeah, don't bottle it, it up. It. Sell yeah, it. Bottle it. Word. Bottle nostalgia. Shout out to ghost. that though. But the brother Ski Rap kind of did that with his with his own comic Absolutely. book. Absolutely. Right. One hundred. Um. Look, so man. definitely, everybody, make sure y'all For go sure. check that out. Belly, Belly flop, flop, baby. Belly flop. That shit's hot. 
Shout dummy out to comics. Dummy, dummy comics. Make sure you follow Be Creative, the number two create underscore on IG. Make sure you follow at Ski Rap. That's S K three three Rap on IG. Yeah, Make yeah. sure you follow Ski Rap on YouTube. He got new music coming out. He got a follow up comic coming out, connecting different universes. Um, he's got what else? New videos coming out. He's gonna drop some. Group albums, new albums. Go check out the SoundCloud. It's still active. Check out the SoundCloud. Check out the uh, Bandcamp. Check them out on Apple Music. There's a bunch of music on there. Check them out yeah, on yeah. YouTube. You can see Belly Flop in video form on YouTube right now. Make sure y'all go check that out. Shout out to Good Looks Media. Shout out to Team Hami. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Jersey. Yo, you got like Jersey history yeah. within your DNA and yeah, shit, bro. You yeah. you probably up. interacted with ninety eight percent of Jersey artists. Oh yeah, from fucking ninety oh, like, yeah. four to they, they, now. Oh, yeah, they they all they all my squad. Yeah, that man, ain't so a motherfucker in Jersey that don't know skits, bro. Yeah, that's man, a that, that, That's bro. a legacy, and they that. all got something good to say about the God, yeah. even if they battled me. Yeah. They still right. respect me. They still got love for me because I come with love. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? BC, like, a, like, like a real ninja and shit. BC, though. BC, before children, Skits yeah. would have Skits would have done that dumb shit. And AD. AD after dad. After dad. I don't want no parts of nothing, man. I'm just trying to show love. That's fly. That's fly. That is Facts. dope, man. Good Super looking. dope, man. Yeah, we wish oh, you nothing we, but we gonna, success, we gonna my bro. Yeah, what? brother F, you got a beat. The brother Skits will want to drop some bars. I can put a beat on right here if you want. This is up to you. Is he sleeping? Uh oh. Want me to drop it right here? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah get that popping. Yeah. Do that so we can wrap this up. Cool. The while Michael he's doing that, up. while he's looking for that beat, everybody make right sure you head. go check out Diversity. Make Please. sure you go check out Brotherhood. Make sure you go check out Back from the Dead. Y'all mind. Fallen Angels, Low Five Vibes, Jersey Drive, Afternoon Kush, No Hook, The Series, Turncoat, Syndicate, Gran right. Turismo. All right. Go check out that Batman. Yeah. Great American Hip Hop Debate Podcast Ski Rap on the mic Shout out to Jersey Shout out Team Hami Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah. Making a killing Fresh out the building Building with the killers About the shit that they fell in My legion marvelous Them bitches is harlequins Spit up the hardest shit And banish all the charlatans Salivating all over the beat Malnutrition, I'm hungry with a lead Discreet with the heat till we put it to your beak And collapse your whole speech No more trash you speak My stash is complete Your stash is so weak You trap all week Blow it on the stripper's feet You silly nigga You a goofy nigga sweet We the proven niggas reach We been goofy through the streets Show you how we do this Pretty thug status Show you how to move this City thug package Show you how to tool kick Licky spit magic Show you where the cool bitches Chill with the mad on Pay like you wait But I pray you can Catch you straight. My savage ways activate from the shit you say. Your ass should be passed away. You fucking up the game. My ratchet beat him, clap his face, for he could run away. My mask okay. on a smash sign just to pass the time. A maximum crack your hubble straight through the rubble. Fish and we trouble. Piss a nigga stubble. Chill with the rapping. Chill with the fashion. Your pants tight as fuck. How you conceal the magnum? My pants got room for guns and for stashes. My Timberlands got knives ready for the accent. My militant design ready for the slashing. The money in my mind scheming on your captain. Y'all niggas ain't saying shit. It's tragic. Word is born. Y'all don't want no static. Uh, uh. That yeah, want no static. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Ski yeah. rap. Yo, crazy. Big up to Jersey, yeah, big up yeah. to Ski Rap. Thank you for coming through today, my brother. You got any final shout outs? Anybody you want to show love to that you didn't get to show love to earlier? Everybody, man. Everybody. All, all dirty Jersey, man. All the swamp lands, all the metal lands, where the metal lands. You already know who the fuck you are, man. Homily, man. Next philosophy, man. Free radical scavengers. You know the fucking vibes. Shout out to Cash Stool. Shout out to motherfucking everybody that you know. Shout out to um, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. This shit was appreciate that, dog. Shout out to you, nigga. Shout out to you. Much love. Make sure y'all pick up that uh that comic book, man. Check that. Blood, we got one here in the studio. Yes, sir. Okay, yo, appreciate that. I definitely eat that, man. Oh, it ain't for you, man. Yo, 
Don't make me get schizo on your ass. <laughs> oh, you see, it's not me this week. I'm on my peace vibes, y'all. Uh, nah, VS on VS. I was never the problem. <laughs> yeah, all right. Nah, shout out to the brothers. Yo, that's what's once up. again, man. Shout out to Good Looks Media. Be free to create. Yeah, at E-Rap, at Team Ami. Shout out to y'all brothers. Oh, VS, yeah. you got the shout out. Uh, VS, you know what it be, man. We here, man. Shouts to our guests. You know what I'm saying? Go get that belly flop. Go run that video up. That shit is dope. Go check that fucking album out, Diversity. Go check that out, man. That shit is dope. Go check out that Batman track. Yo, wow. Amazing. Appreciate the love. Word. Big Bloodshot, a.k.a. Black <laughs> Batman. What's good? Yo, shout out to the game. Oh, shout out yeah. to hip-hop. Real niggas that rap. That's real boom bap, that's real that's fucking music, man. Take that's it back that's to the essence. Shout out to you, Ski Rap. I appreciate you for coming through, man. Definitely a dope ass show. Yeah. And love yo, love. if y'all ain't heard it, go tune into that track, Brotherhood. Because that right. shit is right. bananas off that diverse yeah. city. I love that shit. It's, it's, it, hit, it hit in my heart. You know what I'm saying? That shit was real, dog. It was dope, man. When you said when you said the numbers to my building, I was like, nah. Mm. That's my favorite part of the whole fucking song, bro. That's crazy. Ooh, you the ill nigga, bro. Thanks, oh, you the ill nigga, bro. So run that up, yes, yes, sir. That's out my now favorite on part Apple of the whole on shit. Spotify, on See, ass. real niggas know. Damn, I fucking you know love what it is. niggas, man. You know what it is. Yo. <laughs> Crazy. That's yo, that appreciation. Crazy. Yo, yeah. salute, bro. Salute. Shout out to Facts. that man. Shout out to Ski Rap. Shout out to everybody yeah. tuned in. Make sure you follow the YouTube. Make sure you are following the Instagram page at G A H H D underscore podcast. Shout out to everybody on uh on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to everybody listening on Apple Podcasts. Shout out to everybody on Spotify. Shout out to everybody on Google Play. Shout out to everybody on any other DSPs that I did not mention. Everybody on the uh, Instagram, be on the lookout for the TikTok. It's coming soon. Ooh, so, TikTok, we gonna be litty. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Make sure y'all uh, go to YouTube and check I'm out the latest videos. Man, we got some new videos. <laughs> Matter of fact, we got the Kaimo episode dropping later today. Make sure y'all go check that go check out. That. Um, that I think that's it. Shout out to everybody once again. We're going to leave you with the love song of the week. Classic R&B tune from 2000 and some shit. It's uh, Day 26 off their album, which I think is a five mic R&B album. If y'all never listened to it, go check it out. It's self-titled. And the name of the song that we're playing today is what? Brother F, come to me, I think. Come with me. <laughs> Day 26. Classic R&B tune. Em Burns Love Song of the Week. This is the Great American Hip Hop Debate Podcast. This is going out to all the ladies, all the moms, all the wives, all the girlfriends, all the uh, sisters, all the aunties, stepmoms. Grandmas. Grandmas, absolutely. Rest in peace, grandma. Great grandmas. <clears throat> Brother F, hit me. <laughs> to all the thotties and the side pieces. To all the nurses, to all the hairdressers, makeup artists, estheticians, massagers, sex workers, strippers. We love you all. Come to me. Come with me. Day 26, Great American Hip Hop Debate Podcast. Love Song of the Week. And I'm out. My manager told me I'm not allowed to sing for free anymore. Thank God. <laughs> So y'all got to wait on the R&B album. It's called Soft Tunes. Shout out to Brother F and Stray Fuego Studio. Shout out to Dolly, the manager. Shout out to Black Don. Club Joe's Radio back on Amp Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 12. La Playa Radio on Amp Fridays, 7.30 to 8.30. Get that cafecito. Cafecito con sports Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 a.m. 9.30. Uh, 9.30. 9.30 to 10. 9.30 to 10. Let's go. Muka Latte and his co-host. Leche. Café no. con leche. No. No. Mucho leche. <laughs> Little café. <laughs> Cappuccino to dawn, baby. Heavy on the leche. My man light and sweet over here. <laughs> Godcast! We out. Peace.